All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, Yahweh, for to do so in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world is going to be called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. It's your brother, Chief Priest, Allah Zawan Lawyer, a.k.a. the Gorilla Hebrew, coming at y'all live again through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, we got a very special program, something a little out of the ordinary. Um, for today, um, I, I'm supposed to be having a special guest on. It's not going to necessarily be a debate. It's going to kind of be more like a discussion, um, a little bit. So I'm just waiting for the brother to hit me back and, uh, so we can get him on here. Um, but I also have some, some other stuff that I want to go into, um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as well. So, um, you know, only a few things. And of course, most I will, we're going to open up for Q&A um, after that. I'll open up for Q&A. So, um, let me send this out to the brother. To lock you. Brother should be coming in here any second. Um, which is Shalom, how's everybody doing? I, uh, matter of fact, I'll share this with y'all briefly while we're waiting. Um, yeah. Share this with y'all while we wait. All right. Y'all can see the screen. So <clears throat> I learned something today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai um, about a particular word that we use often. Um, and I'm going to read the scripture. Uh, Revelation 2 and 9, I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. We know this, of course, is in reference to the people who identify themselves as Jewish, who we would identify in the Bible as the descendants of Amalek. But the, what I want to point out here is the word synagogue. Um, Because I never fully understood, and I feel like a lot of us don't understand what synagogue really means. Um, And I just looked it up, you know, in the spirit on a whim. And uh, here's what it means. It means a bringing together, gathering as a fruits or uh, a contracting in the New Testament, an assembling together of men and assembly of men. So anytime any any assembly of people uh, or men in particular is a synagogue, that's what the synagogue is. So when we're reading this, this they are the synagogue of Satan. 
it, they are the, literally the assembly of Satan. They are the people who Satan has assembled, um, you know, for his bidding, so to speak. Right. But when we assemble, we're also a synagogue. And that's why that that um that name was put on there. So we call that like a word, a brief word of the day. Excuse me. Um, I'm waiting for this brother. I hope he hurry up and come in. I'll just so we ain't just sitting here. I'll uh matter of fact, you know what? If anybody got a couple of quick questions, if they're if they're quick, we can answer them quick. No. I'll take them now. Um, what is going on? This is having an issue. So like it. I want to make sure we get this brother in here for today's discussion. All right, my fault. All right, there's a quick question, real quick. There's a quick question. Any okay? So one. Gwen Hogan, I'm sure I'm not a part of the Northern Kingdom, and I. I'm I'm happy that you said that. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm happy that you said that. Um, because part of what we're gonna talk about today is Israel's carnal understanding. Um, you're just going off of looks, uh, which is ignorant, very ignorant to say. Um, nobody uh, has. I don't believe anybody on this channel has even seen my natural hair in actuality anyway for you to make a, a judgment like that. You have it. You just see my hair in a ponytail that comes after, you know, time of brushing and, and, and the addition of hair products. All right. So these are all very carnal things. And that's what um, that's what a major problem is in Israel. Um, I know brothers who are dark skinned Negro with huge afros that are northern kingdom that are gadites that are ephraimites that are uh Issacharites, that are asherites uh simeonites etc um yeah we got brothers out there in houston brother tazabada brother yai Quab, holding it down Monster Log, man, what's going on? Glad to see uh, uh sack, sack, glad to see Sack in the building. Ayash, link with my brother, uh, soldier Ayash out there in the sack, man. You know, we're trying to build the sack up 
and all these little, uh, you know, all the um, all them grimy cities on the West Coast. We're trying to build that up. Exactly. And I know Issachar Rice is light skinned with big afros. So all this, we got to stop. Do, we we got to stop doing things like that because it's not. I, I remember the first time I came to a camp, they said they thought I was a Gadite or an Ephraimite. I remember the first time that the deacon, Deacon Haka, came to a camp. They thought he was an Ephraimite. He's a Judite. I'm a Levite. You see what I'm saying? Um, so we got to stop being like, you know, of course you could have a, you know, it's it's not bad. It's not wrong if you think I'm a strong deacon in the building. Uh, it's not wrong if you think I'm an Issacharite or, or, or a Gadite. Um, I, I take no offense to it because those are my brothers and that's still the seed of Jacob. So even if I was, it's not a problem and it's beautiful and be a blessing to be one of those. But in particular, I'm a Levite because my father is a Levite, a so-called Haitian. All right. Yeah, we got brothers out there. They be out there on Friday, like Friday afternoons, King. What you mean, Texas, uh, Santos? We out here in Dallas. I'm in Dallas right now. Yeah, you could mistake the uh, the brother Silly Dove, um, I'm off for God. Shalom, Officer Bazak. You could, uh, Shalom, um, uh, uh, Officer Rayevia. You could mistake Silly Dove for any, anything on that chart, man. You know? So, you know, we all, we all are brothers, you know, and various things have happened that, um, Yeah, Hassad, Ephraim, Simeon, Issachar, Judah. He was called everything in the base just today. He's a Levite. You see what I'm saying? So you know, we all look we all look like each other, man. You know. What you want to do is you want to type in to your search bar Ecclesiastes, one word, Ecclesiastes 12 V13. Type that in. Um, and the channel will pop up. Go on the channel, leave a comment. Brother Tazaba will get back with you. Yeah, come, Mr. Tarones. And them and them West Africans that were brought over to Mexico were Issachar rights as well. Not don't get that twisted because there was a portion of Northern Kingdom, Issachar being one of the tribes mentioned by name, that was with the South, that left and came to worship with the South. So some of them same brothers came back into slavery because they came out of that Songhai Empire. Those were the Dogon tribe, and they were known for what? They were known for their ability of telling the stars. They identified the serious constellation, all these various things, these great uh, feats. Shalom, So them brothers was Issacharites as well. All right, we got to understand that. As well as you had um, Ephraimites that was up in the uh, amongst the Yoruba people that were brought to Puerto Rico to be reunited with their brothers from the tribe of Ephraim, right? All that is there. So you got to really get in deep with this history. People think the 12 tribes chart is, is, is crazy, but when you actually study through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh you see how these things line up. Uh, yeah, a lot of Igbo, a lot of Igbo came through the slave trade. So it's safe to deduce that the Igbo are as well Israelites as well as what the word Igbo means Hebrew. And a lot of people don't know that Tyrone is. A lot of people want to deny that. And that's because they're ignorant. But that's why we have to do our studying and we have to um, uh, uh, cast that down. We're trying to get Iron Donkey. You see the brother Iron Donkey is all like Yahweh. We're trying to get him in here now. We're just having a little bit of <laughs> a technical difficulty. We're trying to get the king in here now. Trying to get him in here now for this powerful discussion. You know. Yeah, we're trying to, um, I don't know how his stuff is set up. So, but yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm talking to him on a text message. So we, he's just trying to figure out how to get in here. Exactly. That's right, Toronto. That's a, that's a fact. 
and and, and um, that happened a lot. And uh, it was, you know, about 130,000 uh, black males, slaves in Mexico. And they say almost all of them uh, appropriate. We in here? Well, there we go. There we go. All right, but they say almost all of them procreated with the indigenous um, women, and that was about 500 years ago. So we have to think about um, the amount that they've been able to reproduce over the course of 500 years. That's what people don't want to factor in as well. You know? So wherever you know we got one, come on, I, we have one. We gotta add more to it though as well. Uh but yeah, let me let me introduce his brother. Shalom, what's going on, right? Hey, Shalom, Ma. My... Good to see you. Um go ahead, I can um introduce yourself first and foremost. Kind, kind, man. I'm Nazarla Yahawa, aka the Iron Donkey. You know what I mean? Bringing it out for the Northern Kingdom, man, the House of Issachar, man. Twelve tribes, man, one king. I'm all for it. Um you know, I've came in. I've been in the truth going on three years. I started off at True Nation. You know what I mean? Got the milk there. You know, I went to Sakari, you know, got some meat there. So, you know, um, I'm constantly growing, constantly studying. And uh, for the most part, man, I want to I want to see more of uh, the nine tribes coming to this fold, man. You know, I feel like brothers have had it on lock since the 60s and feel like, man, you know, it's, it's about about time for us to start and, and showing our support in numbers as well and and being a part and not feeling so uh segregated amongst uh israel um so you know i do got a few things um original reason why i reached out to the gorilla hebrew because he did a video recently and you know um like i told him man i'm for unity it's a beautiful thing to be able to see blacks and latinos and native americans be able to come together and be able to you know what i mean break bread that's beautiful um but there's certain things that i do disagree with um in regards to how we go about that and how we go about you know merging everyone in and you know bringing them into the fold so um one of the one of the key things man that a lot of brothers you know do bring out man is that right now the current state of the whole nation man we're two sticks uh, which is not a problem you know we're still one people but we are two sticks um, you know I know the scriptures say that Yahweh Shah will be the one to be able to take those two sticks and make them one um, in the kingdom um, future prophecy um, so in regards to that um, I'm not I'm not for forcing brothers to all be in one school or be in one place just in the means of unity, just in the means because it looks good. Um, if, if brothers is going to be together, I want brothers um, on both sides of the kingdom to be able to be 100 percent edified on who they brother is and who it is. Um, when I first came in the truth, me and my wife and we went to a school, um, the first thing we heard within five minutes of us sitting there was a little kid say, mommy daddy isn't isn't he an edomite you know what i mean and i'm like damn this this is supposed to be the truth you know what i mean this is my first day this is supposed to be the home of the truth the kids is bringing it out <laughs> trying to rain on my ass i'm like damn i came in had my had my issachar shit on had my little lily on my hat I'm, I'm like damn i'm trying to come fellowship but nah man so when that happened to me you know the most high said don't give up on your brothers man just because you know People might not be edifying their kids or they might be in traffic and cussing out every person that's an Edomite. So the minute a Latino or Native American comes in looking a little too light, you know, the kids automatically associate that with the Edomite. Um, so I think as of right now, I think that the northern kingdom needs to come together. You know what I mean? And and edify themselves and, and go over these scriptures and get some better edification in regards to who they are and uh, and who the Southern Kingdom is. Um, I'm from I'm from LA. Blacks and Mexicans have beefed a long time out here. So when you try to force them all in one school in the means of the truth, it's cool. But eventually when one of these brothers get drunk and they slip out and say, oh, fucking my ates, 
old fucking beaners or old, old fucking wetback maymates, whatever the fuck they want to call. Then it's like, well, see, that that's where the issue arises. We're so happy and pumped up that we the children of God, but brothers don't even have a hundred percent understanding on how we are of the same people, how, how we are of the same father. Um, you know, you, you go to a Latino family that's Catholic based and you say, yeah, man, the black dudes right there, man. Yeah, man, we come from the same people. That's our people. You get, you get the funny face. Cause it just don't make no sense. And then you go tell a black Christian family. Oh yeah, man, the Mexicans right there. Them are same people. Like what the hell? Hell no. Nah. Them ain't our people because just coming into the truth is just the beginning, but being edified and what you keep in and what you, uh, what you profess, you know, it, it, it's just like a brother going in on Moab and can't even prove how uh, the Chinese is Moab. It's like, well, you, you're receiving food, which is not saying that it's bad food, but you're receiving it and it's not all the way cooked yet. You you, you basically get in something that's warm, but it, it, it could stay in a little bit more longer before you start eating it and, and start trying to give us a piece of the damn pot. You know what I mean? Um, so in regards to that, I feel like it would be best and, and which which I've been doing is talking to the Northern Kingdom, being a Northern Kingdom brother myself and, is, and, and telling other people to do the same and edify our people on who we are and how we fall into uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. And then when brothers actually can unify and have some understanding amongst ourselves that we are the same people, then we can actually come together and, 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 and there is no confusion. There is no misunderstanding. Like there should be no Negro only Israelites. That's that's due to not not having a hundred percent understanding and, and and brothers not really edifying the person where this person didn't have to look here, look there. Um, same thing with the Latino only Israelites. You know, they're they're lacking understanding because if they had the understanding, then then it wouldn't be like that. Um, so it, it all goes back to where are we receiving this information. I went to a school, nothing against camps, I love camps, but I went to a school and that's where the kids think that people that look like me are Edomites. Now, this isn't like a two year old, four year old. This is a child that has the understanding to be able to grasp who are the Edomites. But in this truth, they make you feel like the Edomites is an actual look. They they don't even it has nothing to do about the spirit, it has nothing to do about who his father is, what's his origins, how do he get over here? It has everything to do about the look. So a brother could walk by too light and get vexed and, 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 and called a heathen. And, and, and Lord knows, don't let them have no light brown hair. But then a brother could walk by dark skin and he might not even get vexed, might get offered some literature, might get, hey, might tell him, hey, man, you the chosen people. So it's just like, man, when, when, when people see white people kissing them boots, people would feel some type of way if they seen an African kissing them boots. It'd be like, hey, Alizar, hey, man, you don't know what that brother was, man. You Come on, man. Hey, man, the brother said, he had, hey, man, you don't know he might be Israel. Oh, man, that was the last straw with you niggas. But but it was OK for, for Blonde Becky to get on her damn knees and, and lick the damn boots. So it's like if if, if we ain't if, if I ain't reaching for every damn body, no one else should be reached for everybody. We got our people right here in the Western Hemisphere that we can deal with directly. And, and I feel like my experience of being uh merged into camps where it's both one kingdom is always gonna uh uh not get enough attention and then if you say hey man can y'all do a little bit more breakdowns on the northern kingdom latino history can you go a little bit more in then people say well damn you you gonna act like we not here so it, it, it even sounds selfish to say hey man can can we get some more of that so it's best to to let the, the the powerful Latino and Native American brothers who are edified, who have came, uh, who are in the truth, to be able to go out to these areas and break down some actual barriers before we just push them all in one school. And then, you know, people looking at people sideways, people murmuring, whispering. I think brothers really do. But like I said, I, I like seeing brothers together, but seeing it isn't helping us. Real quick. I, I want to bring this precept out on, on, on what you said in regards to um, the looks. Motherfucker saying somebody too light is this, or somebody too dark, automatically saying they're a Jake and they could be a Hamite, or hey, they could even be a Terry Edomite. You see what I'm saying? Just real huh. quick. First Samuel 16 and 7. But Yahweh said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For Yahweh seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but Yahweh looketh on the heart. Of course, knowing that 
not not saying that they're spiritual Israelites, but we are Israelites and how we identify is by the spirit, not just by a physical look, because there are other nations that look like us. The way we look isn't entirely unique. Esau, the way Esau looks is a little bit more unique, but the way we look, you could go and look at other nations that resemble so-called Negroes and so-called Latinos. So just basing things entirely off a of look is overwhelmingly problematic. And, and that's part of the reason why Yahweh said that unto Samuel, because Yahweh, in, in this instance, they were looking at Saul. Saul is this big, strong man. This is the king. And then here's little old young David. And they're like, well, how is he going to be the king? Why? Because everybody's just looking at outward appearance too much. Right. And that, wow. it's, just, it's just like bodily exercise. Right. It profited little. Yeah, that does. Pro that may profit and that may be an indicator. But there are anomalies that defy the way your eyes can see. And that's only can be seen within. And everybody doesn't have the ability to see that. So it's problematic. That's why. Like, like this brother said, nobody asked him who his father was because the brother could come and look in any way. You got to say, well, what's up? Right? What's your father? As far as you know, your family, where do they come from on your in your on your father's line? That's the position that every single brother needs to get, no matter if he's Wesley Snipes dark or, you know, I, I'll use me at the end of the spectrum, even lighter than me. You see what I'm saying? He needs to be asked who his daddy is, period. But go ahead. Con, con. No, I agree. Um, But. Well, see, being in this truth this time, I've actually been able to sit back and evaluate where that problem stems from. And in my opinion, and from me asking other brothers uh, that are of the Northern Kingdom, uh, you know, how it goes about. The reason why the appearance is being judged so quick is because a part of the reason, well, a part of the, the way that we uh, present it to the people is that this is a. Uh, you know, this is, uh, oh, Israel's black. Um, Christ is a black man. Angels is black. So if that is the way that it's being presented, like you said, all the king, both kingdoms have tears. He didn't say, oh, he's going to separate the sheep and goats just from the northern kingdom. He said he's going to separate them, period. So, but knowing that if I came in the truth only because I felt like Christ was black, then I'm in the truth for the wrong reason. If I'm keeping the laws because I feel like the ancient Israelites look just like me, so I should keep it, then then, I, then I'm in the truth for the wrong reason. And if I'm telling other people to get in this truth because I feel like this is like like the Black Panthers all over again, it's more about black power, more or less about keeping the laws and pleasing God. And some brothers have went off with that type of way uh, on both kingdoms where it, it became more of something about just being proud of, of yourself opposed to being proud of the nation, being proud of being chosen, being proud that we do have these laws and that, that we have received them again and that he is dealing with us again. Um, that appearance thing is because you solely come in the truth. And, and I'm not going to lie. When I first came in the truth as well, I thought that, uh, that all of Israel was black. And I'm light skinned because of some damn Assyrian. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, oh man, I'm light skinned, man, because the damn Assyrian. Like, ain't no way I could just be light skinned. Now, when you got light skinned black folk, it's, oh, they just light skinned. But damn, with a Latino, man, it's like, fuck, they, they, they put that on a brother's spirit. Like, oh man, we all mixed out. Da, da, da. We don't know if it's from your father or your mother, but you're basically saying that I'm this and, 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 and you that. So if I was dark skinned black brother, I would probably judge off appearance, too, if I truly believe in my heart. My forefathers look identical to me. He ain't look like you. You know what I mean? I ain't saying you ain't Israel. But I'm saying, like, bro, they look like me. When hell could there have been any light skin Israel? Everyone had to be just black. So for brothers who do their studies and brothers who are learning the scriptures, they know that's not true. They know that they know that that's not even possible. Knowing the wives that we took, knowing no, knowing that no nation just has one damn color. Even white people come in a in a light brown tint. You go to Italy, you go to you go to Asia. You know what I mean? So you got to, the, the, the gingers, the ginger white people that they trying to separate <laughs> from yeah. white. People, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, let me let me read this precept too real quick. Romans eight and six. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. 
brothers is being entirely too uh, carnally minded. And that's partly when we when we take a look at the New Testament and we take a look at Yahweh when Yahweh was telling the, script, the scribes and the Pharisees, y'all not y'all think it just because y'all Abraham see y'all going to get it. It's like the modern day version that is y'all think because you're dark skinned, you're, you're, you're in. And then they went to the Gentiles who had been alienated from this understanding. Um, and they were getting it actually understanding it on a spiritual level more effectively than guys who were trusting in their flesh too much. Right. So, of course, we're all Abraham seed, but we do have a certain segment that trusts in their flesh more than in the spirit. And typically those segments are people who are just always radicalizing black, 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 black too much without equally emphasizing the, the northern kingdom or, you know, the, the uh, Latino tribes so far. Yeah, Khan, Khan, I, I, I agree. Um, if, if, if brothers really want unity, shit, man, unity ain't 30 on two. Unity, <laughs> unity ain't 100 on five. That's a pack out. <laughs> like unity is when you go ahead and, and get a nice book in there. So when so when we bring Abelita and Theo and Theo and they come in and they like this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Like I I see both parties are both happy. I see it's genuine. And I don't see nobody standing off. Um, you've been to the functions, man. You you you've seen the north uh, northern kingdom brothers kind of stand off in their own little section, going to live. You know what I mean? It's like damn, brother, why don't y'all? Because you know, brothers just. It, it, it just don't be feeling like it just don't be feeling like it's one one come one uh one all it it, it definitely feels like uh brothers are kind of reserved but that's because um you know we come from two different cultural backgrounds as well so if you never really hung with latinos you know latinos are real chill and real quiet you know what i mean they really don't like to argue and go back and forth with it you know what i mean if they order is wrong they ain't gonna complain about it they kind of just take it and eat it opposed to a brother like hell no man this burger wrong so <laughs> it's two different cultural backgrounds don't mean that brothers can't get along but it's to say that brothers got to get some form of understanding of how and what we need to do and how do we move forward opposed to just you know what I mean? Just trying to get them in and trying to keep them there and, and, and not even trying to see how do we preserve them there and, and, and how do we bring more in there? Um, I've always asked the question, why ain't there that many in, in, in the truth? And I used to say, oh, you know what? The camps, they just not going hard enough. Which, which all camps could probably agree that they could go harder for the Northern King. They could do a little bit more, which is not a problem, um, especially especially with, with the demographics and, and, and shit. We, we need 12,000 Naphtalites to wake up. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I only know one so far. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a lot of work that has to get done. But if brothers can actually sit back and really see what's the actual thing that's um, – that's stopping them it'd be carnal shit it'd be appearance shit same thing with the northern kingdom like hey man i thought you said this was for uh, us too man i looked up hebrew israelite too it was all black fools like what's up with that doc like ah oh, man hey man, you gotta come do the work man shit I'm, I, I found you didn't i true but fuck like damn like they be tripping like see they all they already thinking they be tripping just like you invite a, a, a black brother hey man we're going to east la tonight man we're gonna go over there man guard the park Hey, man, you know, the essays over there. Hey, see, even in the truth, brothers still be thinking like, bro, it's a lot of essays right there, bro. You sure? Yeah, like, not, <laughs> thinking like that. And and that's the spirit guys got guys got to come out of. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, like, we'll do a mission where we'll just go to the border. You know, that that border mission, we know we're just going to get it's just going to be Issachar there. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's reach out to Issachar. But also you got to have you got to have the brother because an elder told me. You know, he said, once you get that first one, then they're going to start coming. But he said, if, if you don't have a Latino there, it's not going to click to them that this is for them because all they're going to see is black up there. You see what I'm saying? Got so it. it's going to take the one. Nine times out of ten, it might be the one that grew up cool with, with brothers and stuff. Like, um, you know, you, of course, you, you was in the camp and, and you know, like uh, Officer Abadja, you know what I'm saying? He came up with a lot of Southern Kingdom as, as well. So he was there for But then, boom, once we see Abadja come in, now here come the North. North start trickling in. It's a car, a uh, 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 gad, etc. You know what I'm saying? Start trickling God. in after we got we got the first brother in. You see what I'm saying? So we we, we do have to present it, you know, because if, if if we are um um trying to wake up all twelve tribes, we do need to present it in a way that is inclusive to all twelve tribes. That's why we have like 
specific literature for this tribe or for this kingdom. Or we'll have the all-inclusive literature. We'll have a, what we call the Judite literature and the Iskarite literature. And up in Seattle, they got the Gadite literature, etc. So all of this stuff has to be implemented. We could always do more as well. Um, but like you said, <laughs> East L.A., brothers. Can, and, and, and what you're saying, too, as far as the North coming together and, and doing it on some North stuff, it's not wrong. It's not wrong to say, okay, we're going to assemble a camp of Northern Kingdom brothers to go into the barrio and go and teach the Northern King. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not a, a, a separation in a negative way. This is, okay, these brothers speak Spanish. This is a place where people speak Spanish and these are people who they're more familiar with culturally. So we're going to go there. If I'm going to take a trip to Haiti, I'm not bringing all the other tribes with me to Haiti. <laughs> I'm not. Y'all ain't, they're not, you are Yankees or whatever. They're not even trying to hear what you're talking about. God. They're only trying to hear other Levites. You see what I'm saying? Even, wow. and it's crazy because even with Levi coming up into America on the West Coast, mm -hmm. Levi is assimilating more with Issachar and with the Northern Kingdom tribe than they are with Southern Kingdom tribes. You see what I'm saying? And the reason is because our culture is more similar than Judite culture is. Yeah, wow. if you just go off appearance, there's a similar look. But as far as cultural, food, language, the majority of Levites speak Creole and Spanish. You see what I'm saying? So all that, even um even even in Louisiana, the Levites in Louisiana were closely related with the Gadite. That's why people get a, the Creole misconception that uh, a Creole is a Indian and a in a black and a French mix. That's not really what it is. But the the Levites there, the Creoles there, did associate very closely with the indigenous people. That the Gadites there. You see what I'm saying? So. A lot of this stuff gets misconstrued because people are so color struck and they're not looking at it in the spirit. But again, back to the point, I'm not taking all the other tribes to Haiti the same way all the, the South don't got to go to the bar. It's not bad. You, we can go, you know, or or, or like, a, a, you know, um, I'll say, boom, OK, we're going to send some Southern Kingdom brothers. But y'all just be on post. Let them brothers handle the teaching and the reading. Just be on post, hold your brothers down. You see what I'm saying? And things of that nature, but let them take the helm on that. Con, con. Um, you were cutting out a little bit, but but I did get a gist of what you were saying. Um and like I said, man, I, I do agree. Um and 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 even with that, man, you still got Southern Kingdom brothers. And, and, and that's why I say, man, you know, a lot of this shit, man, brothers look at like it's, uh, you know, it's you either really want to wake up the people, you really, you either really care about your nation or you don't. And you don't show in the type of moves you make for the benefit of your nation. You, like, you, you, you cut now. <laughs> you cut now. You might need to uh get get in the location you was at or move over a little bit because you was just all that stuff you just said was kind of like choppy. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's better now. Okay. Yeah, no, it went. It went back. That's right. Yeah. There we go. Right. Am I good? Am I good? Good now. All right, for sure, man. Uh, like I said, man, you got Southern Kelp as well, um, which is which is a beautiful thing. Um, you know, it, it's not really as bad as brothers made out to be. Um, I think brothers, um, in my opinion, have. Uh, got comfortable of uh, it's in, in, in the other kingdom, um, you know, kind of, you know, waiting, for, putting everything on. Oh, man, man, you got to do it. You, nah. Damn, yeah, you, you hella cut now. You hella cut now. Now. All right, am I here? I hear you now, yeah. Is it better? Okay. So, Sam, man, you can hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Damn, you, you cutting out again. I don't know. What the oh. hell? 
I'm getting that. Nah, you choppy. You hella choppy. No. Yeah, you still choppy. Still choppy. I don't know what. You was straight. All right now. Nah, nah. It's 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 choppy still. Like it's so bad to where when it goes to your camera, it's just great. It won't even show me your camera right now. Like I can see it right now, but when it when you start talking, I can't see it. Right now. Uh, go ahead. Talk. Talk some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it straight? Yeah, I can, hear you. I can hear you clear now. Yeah. Come. Okay. Um. All right, so it's like we're good. So yeah, man, it's gonna be brothers that want to help from the Southern Kingdom too, man. Which is not an issue, man. Brothers try to make it like um, it's it's a big thing. When nah, man, I think I think a lot of Southern Kingdom brothers have got comfortable with the Northern Kingdom just uh somewhat being under them in regards to knowledge and and being reg uh and and being regards to uh how brothers move about like brothers like oh man like you know hey man let me ask let me ask one of the judite brothers like brothers like oh man we ain't got this because uh judah uh because uh the, the so-called blacks man they're not doing this like no nah, brothers got to get off their own ass and do shit too i'm not gonna just sit here and just complain and say oh what the southern kingdom ain't doing or what they should be doing if brothers really feel passionate about it then brothers will get up and make some shit happen so um one of the things that we was talking about is uh, uh is how brothers go in on the black rant. Now, for brothers that don't know what the black rant is, it's when you go out there, man, and you spend a good 20, 30 minutes, man, boasting up black from hey man, you hey, hey black man, you know you're the greatest thing, man. Man, Israel's black, man, the Jews is black, man, God's a black man. Oh, black man, you the greatest thing in the world, black man. Ain't nobody better than you, black man. While Latinos and Native Americans are driving by and their ears is closed. They don't they don't hear none of that. You know what I mean? Because it don't even sound like that's reaching out to them. And and I done been uh I'm a, when I was at True Nation, man, I used to tell brothers like, "Hey man, kill me with all that black rant." And brothers never got offended. I never had a brother say, "Oh, no, nah, man, I'm finna, I'm finna bring it out." No, nah, brothers be like, "Oh, con con con, you right, you right." Because if you truly talking about unifying and no division, uh, a lot of Latinos ain't gonna come in this truth to worship uh to worship the so-called black man and 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 our people are stubborn so anything that sounds like they submit in or, or having to be up under they like oh hell no they buck at it you know what i mean you, you tell them you know israel was a was a people of color you know what i mean beautiful shades of brown from lightest to sand to darkest mud you know that people are more uh more coherent to hear that and be like okay let me see what that's about but we know that because black it was, isn't exclusive to one type of people anyway. Yeah, and, and it applies to them as well because you have Northern Kingdom. I know I know Issacharites right now that are have a quote unquote so called indigenous look, but they dark as any brother, any Negro you've ever seen. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's when we when we understand that um you know, we're the various shades of brown and, and we emphasize the importance to understand that because even sometimes people will get it misconstrued and go, well, what about this dude? He's light skinned, da, da, all this black, 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 he's light skinned. And then they're not understanding that really we're talking about we are people of color, we descend from the 12 tribes of Israel, um, various shades of, of, of brown, etc. cetera. But, but when, when we emphasize color, Sometimes it also causes people to misunderstand us because they're getting color struck too. Not saying that we don't emphasize color as in we are a people of color. That is to be emphasized. We emphasize black, 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 black. These people, it's triggering a certain, it's triggering Wesley Snipes in their mind. And if you don't look like Wesley Snipes, they don't think it's applicable to you. You see what I'm saying? So we have black people who are called black people who, when you say black, think dark skinned people. That, well, I'm brown skin or I'm light skin, so I'm not even that's not even talking about me. You have some of our people that are that simple to even act like that, so that's why it's good to emphasize we are various shades of brown. And even, um, to your point that you made earlier, historians say that the two kingdoms had you know what they call distinguishable ethnic differences at the time of the split. This is prior to the Assyrian captivity, that there was already distinguishable ethnic differences 
between the two kingdoms. You see what I'm saying? So we, we've always had a variance of look. We're told that we're um, a, a speckled bird, um, a keg not turn, um, also uh, um, 12, 12 trees producing diverse fruit, right? We know they're spiritual because there's a certain spirit. And that's the thing. What traverses the way any of us look is the spirit of our nation, but also the spirit of our tribes. Issachar is Issachar, no matter how they look. I know Issachar, right? Well, let's take you, for example. You have a, a, a so-called black mother, Levite mother. You see what I'm saying? But your, it's a, your spirit identifies with Issachar. You see what I'm saying? When you see, if, if you ever get a chance, and, and a lot of Judites are, are, I'll be honest with you, Judah has this problem mainly because Judah has been like with the white man too long versus all the other tribes that we have our own little third world you know, dung pile countries that we go to and we, we have that is a lot of people don't know how it is when a tribe gets around each other. You see what I'm saying? Judah, you know, with it, with, you know, they don't really understand how Ephraim is when they get around each other. It's called how Levi is, how Benjamin is, you know, other so, so-called black tribes. I remember when we were at the summit in, uh, in Florida, we had like a 15 passenger van. We told everybody, look, this is the Levi van. If you're not a Levi, do not get in this van. You see what I'm saying? We're, we're doing our Levi thing in here. Y'all do whatever the hell y'all do over there. You see, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. We we gotta have an opportunity to be Levites. You yeah. gotta be an Issacharite sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I've even had brothers like a basically say, I don't uh 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 the, the Northern Kingdom brothers shouldn't be speaking in Spanish because we all can't understand what I'm like, bro. Let them do what they do. It's what they it's the language they speak. You're speaking in, we're all speaking some white man's language. I said, bro, if I was fluent in Creole and I had a few Levites here, trust and believe, nigga, we'd be having our own conversation in Creole, and y'all would just have to be mad about it if you were mad about it. There's nothing wrong with letting brothers be who they are because we're all the 12 tribes and we all have our own beautiful spiritual gifts that the most high has given us to make us unique, you know. But go ahead. I Con, yeah, you one of the very few brothers who know a lot about the Aztecs. Um, you've actually did your research and uh you know you know a lot about the Aztecs. So that means you've taken the initiative to do it. Um with, with the Northern Kingdom, they uh they know more about so-called black history than Aztec history. Now, why is that? It's because it feels like it, that's the right thing to do in their mind coming into the truth. They feel like, you know what I mean? These is they they are superior. Oh, they're gonna be they gonna run every damn thing. Oh, better, better, better not cross them niggas. They gonna they gonna cut us out the covenant. You know what I mean? <laughs> like niggas got the pull. So brothers already do all that studies for that and not even look into their own shit. And then it's like, you know. Um, I tell people when when Eric Gardner got choked out, man, we was out there. When Trayvon Martin got killed, we was out there. When Rodney King got beat, man, we was out there. Even though niggas was still beating our asses too, we was still out there pissed off too. Man. That's and, a and fact. Shit up too, and we was out there get catching ass whoopings from the Southern Kingdom, and still was out there in support. So we've been there every damn time for the support, man. And and what brothers, but what the Northern Kingdom needs to see, man, that. You're a great people as well, and that the Southern Kingdom will support you as well, man. When when some shit happen, brothers going brothers gonna show up and, and have brothers back the same way. I, I seen the footage of the Black Panthers holding it down, and then the Brown Berets pull up and helping with security detail. It's like you know, brothers have been helping uh under that head tribe Judah. You know what I mean? No problemo. But damn, like brothers got brothers got a you know what I mean? Like the same way that you'll hear a so called Latino man. Uh, say you know what I mean? Oh yeah, uh, Judah man, that uh, oh Solomon, that's my forefather. David, that was my forefather. Well, I'd like to see some brothers say, oh shit, Montezuma, man, that's my forefather, man. That, that that's this car, man. That's my forefather too, man. Uh, uh to come say of the Shawnee tribe, that's my forefather too. What what you black? What what the fuck does that mean? Because I'm black, that mean that can't be my forefather. And you don't see brothers really do that. You you know what I mean? You are one of the very few brothers that go into the history and know who your forefathers is from each kingdom. But a lot of brothers don't do that, and it's because the way that this message has been delivered, and when they look into the old images and the way that it's been uh, brought out, it's always been like 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 brothers like to say this is a black book, black. You know what I mean? We know we know uh, we know that that's a byword. We learned that that's a byword. Um, we know that, you know, it has di different meanings. But I, I, I can never boast about being a brown man. So when I see a sister put up a post with a brother on there, Tyson Beckford, no shirt on, got a caption. 
the black man is the greatest creation from God. And I see 35 hearts and likes and con. And then I put up George Lopez brown ass like, yeah, man, the brown man. He works hard, man. He the hardest worker and the greatest worker from God. And I get about 13 likes. And I'm like, well, why is that? You say that we we, we on the charge. You say, oh, we want to unify. You say you got a lot of love for us. But when it's opportunities for them to actually show that love, just like when, when they see the Negro only's going in, brothers never take that opportunity uh, and, and to really address that and make a video and go in on that brother and, and, and bring bring the shit out. You see a very few brothers doing it and then you just see a whole brother bunch of brothers watching, but watch it for entertainment, but not edification. If, if, if you if you watch it for edification, then you'll see what this brother used to rebuttal this brother's Negro only doctrine. And you'll be able to pass that on to a northern kingdom brother inbox him. Hey, bro. Hey, next time they hit you with this, bro, bring them out. Man, ask him to prove this. Ask him to give you this prophecy. You know what I mean? And. That's what brothers need. Brothers need that type of support because it's one thing for us to all line up and wear the same shirts and be out there 2000 thick standing together. But it's another thing for me to be able to call any one of these brothers and say, hey, man, I just got kicked out, bro. I need to come over there. Hey, bro, what y'all doing? Oh, it's a little function. Oh, am I invited? Like it, 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 that definitely if there's if it's really unity. Brothers got to really attack where, where the issue comes from. Um, I won't ever go on no corner and go into no brown rant. Oh, a Mexican man, you know, Christ was a brown man just like you. Man, to come say the Aztec, those were God's chosen people. Somebody black might ride by and feel like this ain't for me. But but, but see, that, that's, where, that's where the issue lies. That's what's been going on. And, and, and brothers think. It's an issue speaking on it. Oh, man, why are you trying to stir up division? Hey, man, what? hey, man, it ain't broke. Don't fix it. What are you talking about? You need the other nine tribes, fool. You need you need everybody. What, 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 what's the real issue? No one's trying to diminish the southern kingdom. No one's trying to take away from their accomplishments. Brothers have always had a Khalid Muhammad, Malcolm X, Jesse Jackson, whoever, somebody to speak for the conditions and for somebody to wake them up and, and, and put, put that fire under people and say, man, you know what? Hell yeah, I'm rocking with that. All we saying is it's time for our brothers to stand. And I think it's the, the spirit of the most high that he trying to wake up some of these Northern kingdom chiefs and, and, and to go get their people and to go bring them. So when brothers have a big unity thing, Sakari throw the big unity thing, you know what I mean? You see a 200 Northern kingdom brothers pulling up cars and vans, brothers flying out and brothers like con man, con, I don't care how it happened. I'm just glad that it happened. Cause I got questions for Nafatili, got questions for Asher, got a lot of questions for Gad. And I'm glad these brothers here and I'm glad it's all love. And these brothers came in in the right pretense, not feeling like this is not for them or not feeling like it diminishes them because they don't look the bill that brothers, uh, brothers tend to promote. Um, with images. And that's why when I draw images, if you notice, I draw light skin, brown skin, dark skin, all that. But most of the images you see when you type in Hebrew Israelite, it's always dark skin with an afro. And then if they do got a Native American dude, it's the same fucking face that's been on Google Images since the 80s. That same face with the same owner. With the address. Yeah, like, man, I'm tired of that, man. Let's get some real images of modern day, man. Because, you know what I mean? If, if we really want people, man, then Brothers, show love when you see uh, 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 Latinas are the beautifulest women from God. The black woman is the beautiful woman. Hey, man, show that love mutual. You ain't never seen me say, oh, what about the Latina woman? I don't do that fuck shit, bro. I, I see it. Okay, God, I agree. Okay, boom. So it's, it, it's just those type of things. Yeah, we got like, to push us together, man. We got to. We gotta go together like like mafia lanes. You see what I'm saying? You can't really, you can't really got one without the other. They go together, you know. Con, con, facts, facts. And and if brothers is is down, man, then definitely, man. Uh, that's that's definitely, man. What 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 I'm about, man. It's simple, man. Brothers waking up the people, man. You know what I mean? Like like with the Masha Yasharala thing, man. It's not about. You, your Sabbath. It's not about your doctrines or beliefs. It's about motherfucker. We all we got. Th th that's the point that we at, man. We didn't we didn't put our pride aside and said, you know what? I ain't even going to speak about this brother's doctrine or his laws or how he keep his Sabbaths or his feast days. You know what I mean? That's out because that don't bring us together anyway. And it, Titus 3 and 9 says don't even strive, don't even have strives and grievances about that. So we supposed to come together. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is we need the Latino brothers and sisters to step up. 
start bringing it out start going out there if, if you if you feel like that you gotta do be up under the southern kingdom to go get your people then you wrong because nowhere no brothers is teaching that if you ain't under judah benjamin and levi you can't go do the work you can't get like if you don't know the hebrew and you don't got the lexicon and septuagint you might not be able to be a scholar but if you at least have the Bible and your apocrypha, and your book, you, you might be able to just at least get enough to be able to go tell a person who they are and show them. You might not be able to go into deep breakdowns and debates, but at least go show your people. You know what I mean? Like if given an opportunity uh, to go do it, would you do it? And that's that that's what needs to be available, an opportunity. Because like I was telling you before, brothers look at it like it's so carnal. And the most high man, he revealed to me, man, that this is a spiritual thing. It looked carnal because in, in this land, we've been called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans. So it looked like, oh, man, you know, oh, because bro, this shit goes back to the spirit. This is a spiritual division. I told a brother, man, any any brother in this truth that hates Latinos and Native Americans, he might not be Israel. And any Latino or Native American who truly hates black people in his heart, not because they did anything wrong. But because they're black and he think they loud or he think they get and he just he just got a strong distaste for him. And that's what he want to teach. And that's what he want to that's what he want to live his life by. You hating your own brother. I can't truly see a brother like you can disagree with a brother, be angry at a brother. But someone hating a whole group of people and don't even know him. You know what I mean? You can get mad at me like, oh, man, Nazar, he a Spaniard. Fuck that dude. He a spick. But to say, oh, man, I got it to a Nazar. You know what? All Mexicans are Spaniards at this point. And that's what Brothers is doing. All, yeah, yeah. all you niggas is heathens. <laughs> and that's real because you got to think about it. Even, even you know, a, a lot of people, you know, may not realize this, but your average essay, he could pretend, he could front like he got some type of racist energy. But nine times out of ten, his favorite rapper of all time is Tupac, not Mr. Capone. You see what I'm saying? Like, not Mr. Shadow. So he, he really doesn't. It's really not as the hate ain't really as deep rooted as you would like to believe about him. And also, it's a lot of propaganda. You know, I, I, I told the story to you and I'll tell the story again. The officer um, on uh, up in Seattle met a brother from Florencia 13. It's a correct brother from Florencia 13 in a bar. He had the fat, you know, F-13 on the neck, Florencia on the arm, etc. And the media plays F-13 up like they're racist because of the war that they're going at with um, the East Coasts. Um, East Coast Crips, for those of y'all who, who don't know, which are contrary to the sound, for those of y'all that are ignorant, are in L.A. They're not from the east eastern coast of America, but they have a bitter rivalry. And um, I've heard members of East Coast talk about, yeah, back in the day we was cool with Florencia. Um, but, of course, the East Coast is in up robbing Florencia for a substantial amount of dope, so now they're beefing. But their beef now, the media plays it up as if it's a racially fueled beef. No, the beef was fueled because you took – thousands of dollars of cocaine from somebody so naturally there's going to be any two groups would beef about that but you know um the, the brother went on to to tell the brother yatab you know the media plays us as racist but I, I i i function with a lot of black people a lot of bloods he functions with and things like that he said i just don't like east coast we don't like them you see what i'm saying so stuff like that um we have to also understand the propaganda, even what Trump is doing. Trump is trying to paint. Trump hates black people and Mexican people, Latino people collectively the same. But he keeps emphasizing Latinos. And because black people in America think they're white, they look are starting to look at Latinos like, yeah, you're taking all the jobs. Yeah, you need to leave. He, he, they're feeding into the propaganda. You see what I'm saying? And that's the idea. The divide and conquer of the northern kingdom and southern kingdom has been a doctrine of the devil you see what i'm saying for for such a long time and when we look in history some of the greatest feats that either blacks or latinos have had uh in in the last 500 years has been together almost every single time uh we talk about levi we we run our independence but there was simeon was there too um then we went in and and and, and assisted issachar and and, and and uh, uh asher and things like that uh, 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 in, in getting their independence as well. Then we came to America and wanted to help Judah, but J Judah has ain't really want no help. You see what I'm saying? Which is why they didn't get their independence like everyone else did, so to speak. And of course, we know it's a grain of salt independence because Esau is still up in there pulling strings anyway. But we see blacks and Latinos so-called coming together and getting major W's together, a lot more W's together than on our own. That's for sure. 
So, like I said, we need to be going together like soap and water, man. Um, period. We need to always make sure we're emphasizing one another, um, you know, uh, uh, for, for that purpose, man. You know, for that purpose. And listen, you, you we even had, <laughs> I, before I came into the truth, especially when I was real young, I just didn't, I, I used to say I didn't like Mexicans. Didn't know why. Couldn't tell you why. I had Mexican homies. but what, So I had Mexicans that I was day ones with me, who I functioned with, but I didn't like Mexicans. So I'm, I'm, I'm grouping them into, because I don't like certain essays, I'm now making the statement, I don't like Mexican people. You see what I'm saying? A lot of us do stuff like that, too, where because we dislike a couple of people and they're from this particular demographic that we're now blanking, it, like you just said. Now, because I don't like Nazar, all Mexicans are Spaniards. That, that, that's stupid as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's dumb as hell. The, and, and the average Negro talking about he don't like Mexican people, nigga eating tacos, nigga burritos, loving the hell going to the Mexican place. You see what I'm saying? Uh, right. Tricking margaritas, loving Mexican culture. But you don't like a couple essays, so you know what to hell with them. They all Spaniards. Yeah, right. Facts, facts, man. So, w w what's your views on, on on that spiritual division, man? Do, do, do you think uh, it's definitely two spirits at work from these two sticks, man? Well, yeah, it, it's not even just we have that. Then we have the tribal, the tribal thing. Um, and, and that's why I think what we're Levi, where, where unique is we are a part of the Southern Kingdom, but we also were dispersed amongst all the twelve tribes. So we kind of, kind of have like a, like you remember Mystique from X Men. You know what I'm saying? Like we really could go anywhere and really kind of blend in, which is why we do. You have significant portions of Levi in pretty much every Northern Kingdom tribe. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot. A lot of people don't know. It's a lot of us in Argentina. It's a lot of us in Brazil. It's a lot of us in Mexico now. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't realize that. Um, but there's certainly two different spirits. Um, and there always has been. That's why we did, we, we split. When, when that split happened, you know, when, 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 when Jeroboam made the statement, so he looked at the northern kingdom and said, what part do we in David? We don't have a part over there. You see, we got our own thing going on, so we're just going to do our own thing. Um, and at first, it was cool, and it, was, it wasn't it was negative. Then it quickly became negative. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and that's the part we got to be cautious of. And, and it, it, it turned the two kingdoms into bitter rivals. Um, and, and also, I wanted to touch on a point that you made about, like, um, Northern Kingdom feeling like they got to be like subservient or like second class citizens to citizens to the South, um, stuff like that. Like if we just look at the prison system in California, um, and we look at everybody knows you walk into any given, you know, a, a maximum security or any security level prison on, in California, it's going to be one or two people that's going to be running that yard or going to be the most prominent people in that yard. It's either going to be the the Mexicans or it's going to be the blacks. It's not going to be nobody else. You got sidekicks like. You know, Esau will be sidekick to the Southsiders, and then you got, you know, the others that will be sidekick to, to, to the Southern Kingdom. But it's going to be one of those two. We're all, it's always one of us that's going to be the most prominent, even on the East Coast. Everybody knows it's, it's in New York. It's either going to be the Latin Kings or the Bloods that's running the prison. You see what I'm saying? So everywhere we go, we see either we, we have that, that dominance both. You see what I'm saying? So either one of us is going to be prevalent or another. You see what I'm saying? And, and we also need to understand that because of our spirits and our cultural upbringings that we have a lot to learn from one another, right? On a scene like Freeway Ricky Ross, everybody knows he's a so-called black man, a, a, a Judite, uh, one of the most legendary drug dealers of all time. When he said all this time in prison, he said, the black gangs don't have what the Hispanic gangs have, and that's order and structure. The black gangs lack the order and structure that we see in most of the Hispanic gangs. And those are things that we can take from the Hispanic tribes and learn greatly from because part of the reason why Judah is so destroyed is because Judah has a severe lack of organizational skills. You see, it's like Judah never wants to be organized. Judah hates being up under somebody. Judah, you know what I'm saying? All these various things. Part of that could be the fact that they're the, the, the quote unquote king tribe, but you know, it, it sometimes it'd be too many chiefs and not enough Indians. The Northern Kingdom, coincidentally enough, understands how to be Indians. Of course, you guys are called Indians, Ameri Indians or whatever but have a, a much better understanding of what being an Indian is than the the Southern Kingdom, especially uh, uh, Judah. You see what I'm saying? So there's things that we need to learn from one another and we need to sit back and, and watch. And, you know, even the the the, the, uh, the language thing, we need to be picking up, you know, if you are a, a Judite, you need to be picking up on certain Spanish words you know, or, or any, any tribe that's not, we even got Northern Kingdom that don't speak Spanish. You need to be picking up on 
the languages, you know, whatever you can from each of your brothers and soaking it all in because we all have so much to offer, you know, and to work, work collectively and cohesively for the edification of the whole body of Israel, you know. Con, con, uh, definitely, man. Um, I feel like Latino brothers, man. I said a long time ago when I first came into truth, man, and in the current uh, the camp that I was with at that time, you know, they felt kind of butthurt. But what I had said on a post, I was like, man, stop cooning for Judah. You know what I mean? And brothers really <laughs> didn't know what I meant by that. But basically what I was saying was like, you know, have a fucking backbone. You know what I mean? Stand firm. If, if, if you feel like, you know, this brother is 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 going off the way he's presenting it and he do this all the damn time and, and, and you see him blankly just ignoring that you got five, ten Latinos right here that are sitting on the bus stop listening and you screaming out to cars like you got people right here. Then, you know, call this shit out like like brothers feel like like, oh, they some type of second class. Sit they feel like they the, the, the more black you are, uh, Alazar, the more Israel you are. So you even get brothers that say, oh, yeah, man, look at this picture of my grandpa from 1948. Look at that Afro. Told you he was Israel. That don't mean he damn Israel, man. That just mean he had coarse hair, man. Yes. So if, if brothers think that you got, I got, I got to bring you proof, Alazar. I got to, I got to show you my papa, so so you can see what he look like, so you can feel comfortable at night. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that, man. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a fact. And um, what was the there was something I was gonna say to that. Um, huh? You too. What the hell was I just? It was something like that. I think it, it it kind of escapes me right now. But there was something I was gonna say. Um, Can you hear me? Con, can I hear you? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So no, no, knowing that man, you know, I would never want to bring uh somebody new into the truth if that's what type of spirit they're gonna adapt when they come in. I, I don't want to turn a powerful leader into a brother that feel like he less than anything because what brothers have told him don't fit how he look or fit what brothers like. Um, I want brothers to come in and have pride of being who they are and not feeling like they have to always acknowledge uh, a skin color or, or hair texture or a certain look to separate themselves from the nations. I think we can all agree there is no uh, physical characteristics that are only exclusive to Israel. Would you agree to that? Yeah, for certain. For certain. Yeah, every nation can get any any look that we got. They can get as well. So I, I know that we've been told that we were African Americans, and we've been told that we're Mexicans and we're uh, they're Asians and Mongoloids. I know we've been told all this shit. So brothers fight so hard to prove that they are the people of the Bible, but the way that they go about it is based off a look. And I always stump brothers on Facebook. I said, so what? So any, oh, I asked the question the other day, right? You you gave us a, a, a an assignment one time when I was at Sakar. You said, uh, do the 12 tribes, right? You know what I mean? New fact. I put a question on Facebook. I said, prove, I said, I need a Negro man, woman, or child to prove that they are Judah, the tribe of Judah. The shit went quiet. <laughs> It went dead. People was putting the eyeballs up like, what's up with this? I'm like, well, see, come on. Like, brother can't even, like, brother going to show me, oh, yeah, yeah, see right here? Yeah, like a lion. You know, you know, brother's got that spirit. Like, hold on, <laughs> man. I know a few lions, niggas. You, yeah, you can't just, oh, I'm a lion. You know, uh, uh, it, it says that he would get... I'm like, bro, who's who gave y'all this information? So you telling me you reading that, yeah, he shall... uh be taken to his people or he shall go to his people that made you feel like oh i'm black i've always been taken to my people no show me something that makes you feel like yourself oh oh well slave ships do you know your forefather that was on a slave ship no okay were, 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 was your family raped and snatched away and your name destroyed and taken personally well no okay so those curses show what our forefathers went through and some of the things that we still go through but we can't just uh we can't just go off that anymore. Brothers got to actually do their research and like how some brothers will come into truth and think they uh, think they Judah and then they might find out they Benjamin. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Brother seen the 12 chart chart. He went with the flow. Shit, I'm black. All right, I'm Judah. Brother did his research and the same way that brothers grow in understanding 
it's the same way that brothers grew in understanding with the original one West and how we eventually became a part of it. You know what I mean? I, I know what it was originally, which is no problem. But some brave brothers said, you know what, bro? I might have to look into this, bro. Maybe these Latinos and they, maybe they are people too. And I bet you brothers was bucking against that because they like, nah, man, like we just trying to keep it how we got to like, nah, man, hold on, man. We can't explain none of this. Give me some history to prove why these people would have this. And then, you know, brothers brought us in. So I don't want Latinos to feel like if the information don't come from uh, the Southern kingdom, then, 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 then it ain't no good information. Or if brother, Zabak or Alizar didn't bring it out like what they think about it then it no no brother study to show thyself approved unto God not nobody else at the end of the day this Facebook shit could shut down ain't no one and no one's gonna know if you kept the feast day brother unless they know you personally so don't don't look don't look for acceptance amongst us but but do it for him and um brothers really brothers really don't brothers really don't get that point man and, and, and that's why I said, man, the, the no cooning for uh, stop cooning for Judah, because, man, you you, you strong enough to, to hold your own as well, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love that we got the truth. If I can say this, too, I didn't see many a day that a Levite get called a Hamite on the streets. I didn't seen it a lot. I remember when I first started teaching, I was in GMS Seattle and this Levite brother coming. He got one arm. And. Uh, Bro, all the brothers of GMS Seattle were going, oh, yeah, that's a ham mic. That's a ham mic. I looked at him. I said, man, I said, hey, hey, I said, hey, bro, come here. I said, where you from? He said, I ain't T. I said, See what I'm saying? But you calling him a ham mic. Why? Because you just so focused on look. you just yeah. looking at him, and he's yeah. hella dark because Levi or, you know, the so-called Haitians have mixed probably the least with Esau out of, out of all the tribes, I would say. You see what I'm saying? So Levi has a real dark look. You see what I'm saying? Um, and people will sometimes call. I, I'd have been looking at uh, uh, Haiti. I remember when the earthquake was happening, and this dude, this dude, he wasn't in the truth or nothing, but it was the earthquake, uh, 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 and you know everyone was going crazy. And he walked, and he was like, "Oh, that's Africa." I'm like, "Bro, all you think about is Africa." You see what I'm saying? Like, no, that's the Americas. That's the Caribbean that that's happening. In. You see what I'm saying? Those are, you know, that's where I come from. Those people. You see what I'm saying? So. Um, so, so it works, it, it works <laughs> in every, it works in every which way. And that's why we can't be so, um, so color struck. That's why an inquisition, just look, what's up? Where, where's your people go back to, man? It, it's as simple as that. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes some people may say, and we also got to study certain of the tribes of West Africa because we have some of our people that scattered over there as well. So just cause somebody says they're from Africa, that doesn't instantly disqualify them necessarily as well. Uh, somebody may there's there's a, a northern kingdom too, which people say when were the northern kingdom scattered throughout the earth? Well, actually, nigga, that happened. You see what I'm saying? There's 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 something called a Latino diaspora, which people don't study, but you can study it and you can see where you have a lot of Cubans that went to Angola in Africa. Ah. People don't know that you have a, a considerable amount of Ephraimites, Puerto Ricans that went to Hawaii. Those are two ends of the earth. You have Latinos, Mexicans, nigga, in Japan. You see what I'm saying? Like you have this. There's been a significant thousands of people from certain uh, uh, different tribes of our people who went to another part of the world. They were brought there to work. They were brought there with slavery or, or by some circumstances they were brought there. And that's why an inquisition has to always uh, be made. You have somebody who may tell you they're from Spain. But actually, their foreparent may have migrated to Spain at some point. The same way you have Levites that go to France and Benjamites that go to England. Why? Because that's the country of, you know, the people that colonized us and conquered us. We speak their language. So sometimes we'll go to their country instead of America. So here you are talking to this dude who said he's from Spain. But in actuality, his forefathers actually a Taino that migrated there. But because you heard Spain, you didn't make further enough inquisition. You just wrote him right off, even though he even got the Hispanic look. He's even brown. You're like, oh, this nigga's a Spain. And then also not factoring in that is that it's it's they say about 20 percent of of people in Spain and Portugal have Moorish patrilineage, which we know people will talk about who the Moors are. You see what I'm saying? So it's it just being color struck and only basing off appearance and, and being just emphasizing one tribe or one kingdom over the other. It's overwhelmingly problematic in every direction. Con, I like what you said in regards to uh, to the Haitians. You said that they didn't 
they didn't mix with the Edomites as much in the sense where, where if brothers don't know what he's talking about, meaning on that island, like unlike Judah, who was brought over here to the mainland, the percentage of them that was brought to the mainland and then the rest that were brought to uh, South America, and Central America, uh, they had they had different. They had they had the northern kingdom there and they also had the, the, the heathen women and, and, and the people that was there. So um, they had an opportunity. But it's not to say that the Haitians are a pure people and they don't have any other nations within them That's because right. there is no pure nation. Any place that you go to, it's always going to have you. You go to China. You think everybody that look Chinese is Chinese there? No. So so people. And if you ask people, people who are of other nations have pride in that and they know where they from. They know who they are. You don't got to convince a person that's telling you he's African. He's Ethiopian. You don't got to convince them that he's not. The brother's telling you he knows his history. I'm from this tribe. I know where I'm from. I'm not Israel. You don't got to kind of force that into someone. So um, letting it be known that uh, that whether it been Esau, whether it been uh, a Hamitic nation, uh, a Ishmaelite nation, everyone has been touched. There, there, there is. If you're looking for this tribe that resembles the identical look of the biblical Israelites, it's not there. Because even even amongst the Latinos, we vary in look. You could put me next to another Mexican dude, and he might not even look Mexican. He might look like Conor McGregor. That don't mean that still ain't my brother, and he he ready to go knock some heads off too. Yeah, yeah like uh, uh <laughs> Canelo Alvarez, the boxer. I don't hear so many people say, "Man, that's an Edomite." Look, he's hella light, and he got freckles, and he got red hair. I'm like, my nigga, look at Blake Griffin. I can show you both of their daddies. Canelo daddy don't look like that. Canelo yeah. daddy is clearly a Mexican. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So oh, how is he an Edomite? See, you base it too much. Look, the same with, with, with uh, Blake Griffin. People want to cast him on. His daddy is Haitian, bro. You see what I'm saying? Look at him. He's got red hair and stuff. Then look at his kid. He had a kid with a white girl. Then look at his kid. I got cousins that had kid that's half white that had babies with white girls. And you you would have called that kid a devil walking down the street. But you make an inquisition. Or what's your, what's your, What's your what's your father? Oh, my father's black and white. Well, what's his father? Oh, he's black. He's from Haiti. Oh, okay. Well, guess what? You see what I'm saying? So you gotta uh 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 you gotta watch it. You see what I'm saying? Um, there was even a video that's uh on our on public enemies right now where we was cursing out these two rednecks, and here's this seemingly white girl walks up, and you know, we try to get her to do a bow down because she's talking about you know expressing remorse and everything that's happening. You know, I know the Israelites were people of color and, and, and Christ was a black man, etc. And yeah. we're trying to get her to do a bow down. And she said, No, I can't do that. I'll do you one better. Pulls out the phone and shows a picture of who she says her father is. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little skeptical because seemingly this is totally a white girl, like she had no makings of a person of color, but it could happen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. With her. I might need a little bit more evidence for for for, for convincing, but yeah. I, let her, I let her have it because she wasn't coming against us, and yeah. it's cool, all right, cool. I'm gonna let you have it. You see what I'm saying? But even then, we can't we we can't always be so you know so quick. Yeah, yeah, true. Because but but see, this is this is the fear of the Northern Kingdom. I, the Northern Kingdom uh, feels like that Southern Kingdom brothers aren't ready for. Niggas that look like Blake Griffin's son to walk up to the school and say, yeah, yeah, man, my grandpa, he, he's Haitian. Because and, and in my mind, I know brothers ain't ready for that. They're not ready for no logic looking dude to walk in. Yeah, hey, yo, Shalom. They like, bro, if you don't get this nerdy little white boy away from here, bro. Like, bro, my dad's black. Like, bro, stop playing, bro. You're playing, bro. <laughs> man, man, you call that nigga now and have him come up here right now because we're not letting you in and 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 brothers know that you just gonna have to donate to the school like we we, we can't have you up in here <laughs> yeah. what happens when a chinese or japanese nigga uh shit starts tuning in and you know how many times i've been in la and asian niggas like stop and they be listening and they 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 they, they vibing hard and i'm talking about like gangsta ass asians i ain't talking about like no suit and tie i'm talking about Asian boy, crit, like all about the Uzis. <laughs> so they listening and they not even getting offended that we like, yeah, man, all the other nations is going to hell and they listening, bro. And I'm like, damn, are brothers ready for people to start walking up to school? Japanese cat pull up like, yeah, man, I came in uh, to get the class. Well, what's your father, man? Like shit. For all I know, man, we come from Samurais. We come from Japan. I don't I, I can't go back to. 10,000 years, but I feel what y'all are talking about, and, and I'm, I'm ready to bring this shit down, too. Are brothers really going to open? And, and you a camp leader, are you prepared to open your arms and to test that brother's spirit and bring him in to eat your Passover lamb and let that brother be? 
that's a that's a tremendous question. Um, uh, the way the way I look at it is, we sent to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Not saying that th there can't be Israelites that exist outside of that, but that's who we sent to. The same way Paul he went to the Gentiles, but Peter went to the circumcision. You know what I'm saying? So you have certain camps, especially GMS. GMS is 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 trying spirits and and, and inviting brothers in, and you know, and, and things of that nature who may clearly defy the look of black latino or native indian um and i don't necessarily have an issue with that but also um the way i look at it is i don't want it to be a stumbling block um if i say you know it's one it's definitely one thing to have a black hispanic or native indian brother in there but um to have somebody who may be outside of that on the block with you it could be sometimes again me is a stumbling block or a hispanic brother is a stumbling block let alone hey who and who's fucking China cuz on the end, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's he? I feel it, but what is he doing here? The blacks and that says, yeah, but who the fuck is he? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and it, like I said, it's nothing wrong with it, but um, I believe that there are gonna be certain certain groups who are focused on certain segments, even uh, even when people say, Oh, well, the 12 tribe chart is incomplete because we, we're scattered throughout the four winds. Well, hey, you're right, we are, but there's somebody who the most high is gonna raise up. In you know, in these other places, to be a prophet to these people in those places, you see what I'm saying as well. Um, that person may learn on YouTube and see us on YouTube and understand what's going on, and then that may cause him to hit them streets out there and put it in. There's even a camp in South Africa. Um, people are saying, Well, how do we know the Israelites? Well, look, they're in South Africa, they're not even interfering with what we got going on over here, so let them do whatever the hell is they doing. And if they Israel, then, they, then they're straight, you see what I'm saying? So um, I believe there's there's stuff like that going on, but go ahead. Well, see, that's fair. Now, now, see, I would expect that same response if I was like, yeah, man, some African brothers. Now, I don't want you to be like, well, now that's different. The Japanese nigga, I don't know about serving with him, but the African brother, we got a little bit more history there. Maybe he's good. Well, no, it got to be the same fucking way. If we sent to the so-called African American, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native American, then that means we can't bring in the Bantu and the Igba and the Limba and the Shanti and the Daya and the Woo Woos. Like, nah, let them niggas be over there. And if we gonna all link up in the kingdom, we'll see you in the kingdom. Because if if we ain't gonna reach out to the other possible uh ninja samurai Israelites who want to come in <laughs> and, and, and chop some shit up, then, then we got to be the same way with that. And, and that's where that's where it becomes a problem. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, when the white lady licked your boot, it's like, kahala, man, I love to see that. But if you had an African woman licking your boot, she had her little African head wrap on and her little little paint on, they'd be like, Alazar, brother, that was low, brother. You don't know what that woman was, brother. You like, no, man. She told me she Ethiopian, she full blown. This. Bro, she said it. Da, da, da. She was repentant, bro. She know her people hate us. Brother, you still don't know, man. That sister don't know who she is. Brothers will lean and do all that, bro. That's the <laughs> issue, man. They sure would. They sure would. And it and it comes from it definitely comes from um uh, from being color struck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And just thinking like, oh, well, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. That's still a, a, a quote unquote a, a black, that's still a black person, quote unquote. And that's also what shows what's problematic with that. Um, even we had the video against when I was cursing the Somalian Crips out. And I said they're not black, and people were like, "Oh, a half breed is saying the Somalian ain't black." And I'm like, "Y'all don't even know what I'm saying. I'm saying you're not. You didn't come through the transatlantic slave trade. That's what I mean by you're not black. Not yeah. you're not racially identified as black. You know, but they don't. People take these terms, and you know, they confuse them. So that's why it's good that we quantify uh, the term, the terminology we use, so people don't get it misconstrued. Because people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm telling people who are dark, which. Which a lot of time, and it is funny how convenient people be because a lot of times Ethiopians won't even call themselves black. That's one of the last things that they'll call themselves. But when you say they're not, didn't hear they coming. <laughs> oh, now they are black all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? And they yeah. know black is something that they want to label the people who don't know who the hell they are with. But then they conveniently want to be black when it's convenient. You know, you know how it be. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Um, you know, just like we're the black power. You know, where the fists and all that. Uh, I remember in the 80s and 90s, the Africa chains and the black power. I know where that movement is associated with, just like with the Black Panthers. So I know that that fist and that that slogan, black power, is not fueled from the law, statutes and commandments, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. 
That's a slogan and things just like brown pride. I know that's not something that's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's something that Latinos that came together and to counter the black power, brown pride. See, it, it, that, that, that spirit's been around way before me and you was alive, brother. We're, we're getting something that our forefathers didn't square away in the 60s and 70s when trying to buck up. Now, now that we here and we can address it on this type of platform, I hope this inspires brothers to really uh, uh, consider how they really put this message out or really determine, do you really believe these is your brothers? Because you might come to the realization like, man, I don't even think these are my people, man. You know what? I, 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 I don't sense they spared. Um, you know what I mean? I, I think they're in Africa. Da, 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 da. Well, guess what? You have the free will to have your choice or your own belief or whatever, whatever. I'm not going to bash anyone's personal choice of belief. But what I'm saying is don't be amongst it. Don't be all up. Like you said, don't be all up in the taco spot talking about, yeah, fuck May Mays. But you all in the taco spot. It's like, bro, you like you can't. Shot, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I ain't fucking with niggas, but LeBron, bro, I'm fucking with him. Like, no, 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 no. You don't like black like Kobe jersey. I'm rocking Jordans. Yeah. So it's like brothers. That's why I said it's not even about Negro only. It's just even being, you know, especially growing up in Southern California, like you and me did. Like, we done seen every which way of this. You know what I mean? So we know, like, <laughs> come on, bro, nigga, you rock Jordans. You got a Kobe jersey, nigga. You you got a Tupac poster. In your goddamn room, you know what I'm saying, or or, or on the, on the flip side, you want a Mexican girl, or you love the damn taco shop, or you got a Mexican homie from the hood. I remember, um, man, the Fruit Towns, the Fruit Towns, uh, was doing an interview over there by USC. Um, they got a series of interviews on uh, on street games that are that are good. Um, but I remember they would because they into it with the 18s, and they like you know they was a brother had said something. Kind of negative towards Mexicans, and all of a sudden the Mexican pop out the cut like blood. I don't know what they talking about, nigga. This brim gang, you know what I'm saying? Like it's straight up Mexican. You see what I'm saying? So it's okay. like you're saying this about me, but the Mexican is standing right there, and you know you riding for him. Period. You know that's your boy. You know he's not. He ain't down with 18. He down with being a brim. You know what I'm saying? So it's like why why would you even do that? That's dumb as hell. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that, that that's. That's how brothers get they get back. That's how brothers get they they little anger off. Whenever you gotta get to the point where you like gotta call somebody a mayate or or wet back or beaner, that's how you know a brother's really mad because brothers like like gotta go to something like I have to hurt your feelings. So let me find out what I can say to hurt him, uh, just to get some type of real angry reaction out of him. See, so you be your mama or your race, like those are the two the two. Yeah. Long long. Once the niggas start talking about the race or the mama. You yeah. know he's hurt, so he's trying to go as low as he can go on you. And then what's funny as hell is this. You saying F the wetbacks, then you got a Belizean homie next to you, a Haitian homie next to you. And, yeah, they black, but that wetback term applied to them too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But here's Judah just spouting off at the mouth, not even realizing that the back is wetter on a brother from the island than it is from the brother from Mexico. He really could have walked, hopped the gate. Nigga, we really was on the banana boat. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts, man. And you know what? At the end of the day, bro, both kingdoms fucked up. Lest any kingdom should boast. Like, I, I don't I don't know how anybody they both fucked up. If, if, if brothers was good, no one would have touched no slave, no transatlantic slave trade. Brothers was good. We would have never seen no Hernando Cortez pulling up to the coast like like brothers both fucked up. I don't know why brothers feel like. And, and, and I think that's how they make that division. Well, I'm black. That like, like, yeah, we both fucked up, but I can at least hold to that I'm black. Let me ask you this, brother. Do, do you believe that we was all black at, at one point in time? Like, like your personal belief, not what you can prove, but do you personally believe that all of Israel, not all humans, but all Israel from Abraham, Isaac, and then actual Jacob Israel, do you believe that they were all dark skinned black people? Yeah, I believe Jacob, of course, Jacob was, and uh, Jacob, all of Jacob's wives, you know, um, well, we would assume that all of Jacob's wives was um, was a, a rum. Uh, we know two for sure was, and then, honestly, the other two, it doesn't really specify where they come from. So uh, uh, I believe that, but uh, could there have been a variance? Of course there could have been. Um, but I think, especially after going through Egypt for a long time, we were certainly on the darker side, but there certainly became a time, like I, I talked about earlier, where when the kingdom split, most historians believe that there was already distinguishable ethnic differences. So there was already, we already was beginning to have 
a variant in look and the north um uh, was looking away uh and the south was looking away that was you could kind of have an idea more kind of like now um even when we look at pre-colonial pre-columbian art in the americas you see people who look different you see light to dark shades of brown so we certainly were always um various shades of brown i believe we we started like like how people start in general um with the exception of the people who were born with the with the melanin depletion esau but pm but even then they came from a, you know a so-called black person or a dark-skinned person so i believe of course we um we started out uh, uh dark skin and then over the course of time through various uh, uh mixing we um we become to look uh we vary more in in hue but even when you look at um africa sub-saharan africa right which they which they say the southern kingdom is you have in sub-saharan africa the the biggest diversity of phenotype and skin color in the world a lot of people don't know that in africa right where we came out of so um we were there we mingled with those people um some of us are still left over there etc so with all that being said that's a testament to israel being phenotypically and as far as color uh diverse okay because i noticed brothers tend to say well you know uh the wives were egyptian and african well we know abraham wife was hagar or well his his baby mama was hagar and she was egyptian and she brought forth Ishmael, who we know as the Ishmaelites. Um, what I believe is that all the African nations weren't dark, dark black. So whether whether a brother took an African woman or not, uh, we don't know if this African woman was like a light skin, light brown one, like an Ethiopian or a dark one, like somebody out, you know what I mean? Maybe deeper in Kenya somewhere. Um, so so even even with that um, uh and then. It, we know we know that we know who uh the other sons and what nations wives they took from boaz to so so we know that like if if we could see uh blake griffin's father have a baby with a white lady make blake griffin then he made a baby with a white lady and now the kid look white then you're telling me two thousand three thousand years of uh, of brothers taking these other wives um and, and we see ishmael today i can't look at ishmael and see he a nigga <laughs> I can't see no nigga in Ishmael, man. He he, he, a, he a foreigner to me. I don't see no brother in Ishmael. <laughs> exactly. Like you, you really, and a lot of times you got to go to the country and you can see when you go to a lot of these countries, you can see the diversity of the nation. And and like you're saying, like there's no one pure people. Um, I believe the term is um homogenous. That's what it is, I think, where basically like everybody looked the same you see what i'm saying like this is one group of people you mean to tell me you're going to get a group of millions of people and all of them is just going to have the same look there's no variance there's no that defies genetics genetics have you have anomalies you have deviations you have variants you have mutations that happen you have you have a pure quote unquote pure black people coming together and then all of a sudden an albino comes nigga with red eyes nigga blonde white hair on my platinum blonde hair and pure white skin. how did that happen because in genetics it's always going to happen there's no like let's take me for example boom we have a dark-skinned haitian man who barely has any facial hair this my pops could barely grow eyebrows got whiskers on his chin he gets with a so-called white woman and they have me now for the most part i have what you would call recessive traits but then i get with a, a sister from the tribe of benjamin and i have kids my kids yes she's dark-skinned and she has um dominant what they would call dominant traits but my kids look like me but they still look their their phenotype and their their structure is still negro right and they have a lot of look of other people in my family like my my, my son has he don't have my hair he don't have his mom hair. he had my grandpa's hair i looked at a picture of my grandpa i said damn i was wondering where my son hair come from he got the same exact hair as this dude so I, when, when i was in california a couple weeks ago and i see my pop said look I said he got the same hair as your pops and he said yeah he do got them cork the curls just like my pops did you see what i'm saying so a lot of people truly do not understand how genetics work and that's where somebody will make the stupid statement like oh well if 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 jacob was black and he had black wives how in the hell is issachar tribe nigga that was four thousand years ago like you said if, if we could see in two in one generation and then two imagine what thousands of years looks like you're gonna have people that look 
all kind of ways. And you can't tell me, let's just take a look at Judah or so-called black people. Let's just put that. You got Judah, bro. You have Alicia Keys, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you have, and even um, uh, one person who I like to bring out a lot is Evelyn Lozada. She's on Basketball Wives, if you're not familiar. Oh, if yeah. You, the average person who sees Evelyn Lozada thinks that's a black girl. But both of her parents are indigenous Ephraimites. They're not Negro looking Ephraimites. They're in, they look straight Taino Indian, but they made a girl that looks black. How did they do that? If mm. we're not all related, you know what I'm saying? If we, if we don't all carry one another's genes and have the ability to produce one another. And that's why when I first heard the truth, I was so susceptible to it because my pops, in his job, he's he been to Puerto Rico, been to Colombia. I mean, nigga been all over the world, but especially in South America and on them islands. Um, and he would tell me when he would get back, yo, I was around. He, he said, bro, these Puerto Ricans, these, these niggas look like how you look, right? But if I made you, then and they look like you, you know what I'm saying? Then we all must, we all niggas. That's what he, that's how he would simplify it. We're just all, we gotta all be niggas because. We all the same and their spirit is the same. And he was like, I get picked up by the Puerto Rican. He got on a do-rag. He bumping some loud ass. I mean, it's a nigga. You know what I'm saying? For the for the most part. Yeah, the, the music might be in Spanish because, you know, that's that's his particular thing. You know what I'm saying? But but he's the same as me. You know what I mean? We have the same uh, 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 spirit. There's a little variance because of cultural reasons. But overall, we're the same people. You see what I'm saying? So. That that niggas got to stop running from that too. And uh, if you don't get that, it's only because you don't want to. That's the only reason. Yeah, you know what you and you bring up a good point because uh, they always say black is the dominant gene, yada yada yada. Well, my mom is black. She's a Levite. My dad is Issachar. I look like my dad. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I got his height. I got his face. Um, I got I got maybe coarser hair than him. But in regards to if, if, if brothers think, oh, no, nah, man, all Israel black, man, it was black, man, no matter what, yada, yada, yada. Um, then, well, you know, my mom is black, man. And, you know, technically I, I'm supposed to be a little darker. I'm supposed to like be like a, a, a light brown. If you know most the dudes that you know that are black and Mexican, they usually do look black. You know what I mean? Light brown, light skin, uh, but they usually look black. I got a little homie that's black and Mexican and you can't, and he like the opposite of you. You can't tell he's Mexican. The same way, if if you if you if somebody just seen you, they're not even gonna assume you're half black. It was oh, this is just a Mexican. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So like you said, so there's clear defiance. Even my daughter, my firstborn daughter, she lighter than me, and her mom is dark skinned How the hell is she lighter than me? Then why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Her right. hair is her hair even is less curly than mine. It's it's straighter than mine is. You see what I'm saying? Why is that? You see because we all have all different types of genetics. We've been mingling with different people and doing different things for so long that we we and, and also we're we're an originator people. We 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 the creator of all this. So we're spouting, we can spout out anything. You know what I mean? And for you to be as simple to just go, well, because of that, you literally have people that are, are now not even just based on skin color, but like like you have touched on hair texture. Well, if they ain't got an afro, they ain't Israel. You see what I'm saying? Niggas are really saying that, but I know Mexicans lighter than you, nigga, with afros. Yeah. But here you are, you see what I'm saying? Your hair is a little bit different. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, bro, when two people get together, anything can come out. Anything. Yeah. Well, you know, a brother asked me one time, he said, man, why I never seen a Yahweh Shai picture with a Native American face, with some Native American eyes, a woolly hair, and dark brown skin? Why doesn't that picture exist? I'm like, because his face wouldn't be Negro enough. You can't put the Mexican face with an afro and then make a skin. They were like, who the hell is this? He <laughs> got to look Negro for brothers to, to, to be okay with that. But then at the same mouth say, we all one people, let's unify. So you got to see why it's kind of hard for Northern Kingdom brothers to really want to go all in and unify with brothers when they see it's not really no unity. It's, it, it's really like, nigga, take this. Take this. And the minute you buck at it, oh, bro, you rebellious. Oh, man, you got to span your spirit because like brothers will not continue to allow them to just diminish all they shit and make them like, nigga, they should just jump on the money train. Like, like, like niggas can't make their own wave. Like brothers can't get it, get it popping. And, and like you said, man, all these areas that need Spanish speakers, you know what I mean? All these places that need it, you know what I mean? Shit, man, brothers, brothers could get that. And even, even the areas because, uh, shit, man, keep it 100, man, brothers, brothers, 
brothers in the world, they love Latinos, man. It seems like brothers in the truth have that little, <laughs> have that little space. It's weird. <laughs> nah, it's crazy. I'm going to bring the precept, Isaiah 11 and 13. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. That's what we got to stop doing, vexing, because that's where, and, and people got to understand. I remember a brother, um, an elder brother, pointed something out to me. It was an issue that two brothers I know was having, and I was trying to counsel it. But I was having a hard time, so I went to an elder, and he said uh, basically that there's some envy there, right? And typically, when you look at envy, you just think somebody's jealous of somebody, right? But once I looked into the word and I looked into how it was used in the scriptures, I understood that envy isn't necessarily just I'm jealous of you. You see what I'm saying? It's not necessarily that, but it's like I have a problem with you for this specific reason. You see what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, you know, it, it came out that the brothers and once we looked at it that way, it we were able to solve the problem between the two brothers. You see what I'm saying? To where, OK, envy also is applicable in this aspect as well. And once that was presented, well, the brother was going to say, well, yeah, this is my issue with this brother. And the brother, other brother was, well, this is my issue with this brother. You know what I mean? And the issue was one brother was looking like uh, uh, you can do better. And the other brother was looking like. Well, I, I, I feel like you get away with a lot of BS. You see what I'm saying? And it's like it's a similar situation with the two with the two kingdoms and, and or, or especially with, with the north looking at, at Judah like, well, damn, like you just going to leave us out to dry or you know what I'm saying? Like why? So it doesn't necessarily mean that the north is jealous of the south. Oh, I want to be uh, I wish I had an afro and I, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't necessarily that. It's just there, there's that disconnect there. And Judah is vexing. Judah vexes. You see what I'm saying? It's what Judah does uh, as a kingdom, but especially as a tribe, Judah does it. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, and, and the, the main people who push Negro only are Judites. It's not you. You have Benjamites and Levites that do it too, but it's a very small minority. The average Benjamite or Levite understands the twelve tribes breakdown. Right you know, con, con, man. So, so is it safe to say that? Uh once a brother is awoke in his truth and he knows his true nationality, is it safe to say that he still shouldn't be referring to himself as a black man or a Mexican man or a Haitian man? Should the, should the brother denounce that and, and accept his true identity or, 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 or is it okay for brothers to still cleave on to uh, buy words to represent the, the new, their new self? Um, I, I would say I would say that the by word may be necessary in, in, in certain instances. Um, but overall, no, you know, overall, you should be looking at yourself as an Israelite, um, as a nation. And then if you want to get tribally, then, you know, you talk about whatever um, uh, uh, tribe you're from. But there's sometimes where your, your by word so-called could, could kind of come in handy. Um, if you're edifying a Mexican brother, you might well, brother, I'm Mexican. You see what I'm saying? And, such as such, you know, Mexican, we Mexican people, you know what I'm saying? So the, there's times where it, 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 uh, it may be necessary. You see what I'm saying? To, uh, you know, bring your byword back up, but overall you should certainly be identifying with your nation and your tribe more, definitely more so than any byword that was put on you. Cause these bywords, they don't, they really don't mean nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like, uh, calling yourself black cause you're not even black in actuality no but there's not a a black person walking around you know what i'm saying like you're not black you are and, and, and i'm gonna tell you too like i uh you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm really good with the brothers at, uh, at house of consciousness sonetta and them so there was a video on sonetta's channel with reggie and there's a brother from africa or a, a dude from africa that walk up um and he, this dude's a christian he worships a white jesus and, and Reggie's sitting there, and you know Reggie got to look like Reggie's probably, you know, somewhere down the line mixed, people believe. Um, he's never spoke to it, which it doesn't matter as long as his father, you know, who his father is. That's all that really counts to us anyway. But he was talking to the African brother, and he was like, yo, I come from you. You're the original. You know what I mean? Like, he even was lifting him up just because how dark he was, and he was from Africa, and this is really what we want to be, Right. Uh, Cause in that ideology in, in Pan Africanism and things like that, that's that's what they're they're looking to, and even the African was just looking like the African looked at him like he was stupid. You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, like number one, I'm a Christian. <laughs> you know, I worship a white Jesus, and why in the hell do you want to be me so bad for? 
You know what I'm Man. saying? Like, <laughs> I don't even understand that. Number one, you niggas are the one that over here creating everything and being the greatest innovators in the world. Not us. I'm coming over here to to uh, to to take advantage of, of shit that y'all can't because nigga, I'm from Africa and you're not. You see what I'm saying? So even stuff like that, we even see um uh uh, uh certain um certain of 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 Judites even bigging up and worshiping Africans because they feel like there's some great purity in that. And it's because they're just looking fleshly and they're kind of misunderstanding. Um, you know, when we say Christ is a black man, Christ was a so-called black man. They took that into meaning some, they kind of took that another way. Yes. Is melanin and, you know, uh, 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 things like that. All that is, you know, there's, there's definite scientific, um, you know, biological and, and, and physiological, um, uh, benefits to that, but also lighter skinned brothers also have the same thing though. Just because you're not dark skinned don't mean that you you we're still all quote unquote melanated. We still all have those ability and melanin isn't everything. Um and, and we always gonna go back to Blake Griffin on that or even Canelo Alvarez. These are super light skinned brothers who are extremely talented and at you know the upper echelon of what they do. Um and there are you know, we, we've seen Canelo go in there and beat dark skinned Negroes. You see what I'm saying? We've seen uh, Blake Griffin put dark skinned Negroes on a poster. So if it was all about melanin, then these light skinned dudes wouldn't be able to do that on dark skinned dudes. You see what I'm saying? But it ain't about light or dark skin or what kingdom or what tribe it's about. We're all one people. We're all the greatest people. Of all, we're all God's chosen people. And we all have been blessed with abilities to do these things, regardless of how our outward appearance looks. Con, if the outward appearance mean anything, then we should bring uh, Bob Marley into the school and say, <laughs> hey, man, he's still getting treated like a Negro, brother. Who cares what his daddy is? According to the United States government, this is a Negro right here. Which Y'all want to kick him out because his daddy white? Nigga, that's weak. He black. Nigga, black power, he get to come in. Nah, if, nah. If brothers want to play with that. <laughs> no, exactly. Exactly. That That's 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 the same Um that's the same thing. And I've heard them say that. Well, if, 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 nigga, if you got to come in, nigga, only your dad is black. So, nigga, if somebody mom is black, nigga, they got to get to come in too. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that it's about the seed. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, there's, there's, there's black Edomites. You know what I'm saying? There's colored, colored Edomites uh, uh, running around too. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, if, if you're not having a spiritual eye, you're not even going to see him. You're not going to see him. And it, it, it makes sense that Bob Marley is an Edomite. A lot of people don't understand how much sense it makes that he's an Edomite. Um, because he, if you know the history, you know, kind of backstabbing um, different dudes and stuff like that uh, that was coming up with him singing. And, uh, you know, a lot of brother from an elder from Jamaica told me that his mama really wrote all them songs. Either it was his the, 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 the Benjamites he was with or his mama really wrote the songs that he sang. You see what I'm saying? So people are listening to his songs like, oh, just like Elvis, bro. Like Elvis stole all that. You know, but people worship El like Bob Marley is like just uh, El the reggae Elvis. You know what I mean? No different. Stole his songs from actual Israelites. You see what I'm saying? And sung them. And that's why people love him so much, because he actually is. A, like people are understanding the spiritual side of it. He's loved by white people so much because he is a white person. You know, white people do like uh, um, Tupac and, and Michael Jackson. They like them. But they don't worship them like they worship Bob Marley, bro. Like Bob Marley is a deity among white people. You know what I mean? Damn oh, yeah. and, and, and why? Because he's white. You know what I mean? He's he's an Edomite, which really we're saying he's white, but he's an Edomite. So you can understand because people are like, well, how is he white? Look at the way he looks. Of course, he is an Edomite. He just because he looks the way he looks, there's no difference between him and the, the Confederate flag waving red. Man. You see what I mean? There's no difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, 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 spiritually, that is. So, but being too color struck, you're gonna bring Bob Marley on in. When I ask, well, hey, Bob Marley, where's 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 your father from? Oh, he's English. Oh, what well, nigga? Get the your, your daddy is master. Your mama is a house wench. You see what I'm saying? Like, get the hell out of here, bro. Remember that newspaper article I sent you, bro? Brothers got to stop looking at them damn images, bro. Because through what I've been researching and, and studying and, and looking into, man, about uh our beloved brother General Pancho Villa, man, you know, the brother the brother looks like he's uh Mexican, man, but it's a lot of a lot of things that are starting to come out, man, 
that have not been blacked out by one West. This is general newspaper articles and, and stuff that's out there that's saying that Pancho Villa, General Pancho Villa of Mexico, that his father, his birth father was a black man from Oklahoma named Luther Gigsby. And that Pancho Villa, the real name was Gio Gigsby. And they used to talk about it when he was a kid, how he passed for Mexican and his wife was a Negro, his first wife. And then his second wife was also a Negro. And look how light Pancho Villa is. And and, and if you know any hardcore Serrano essays, they got a Pancho Villa tattoo on their arm, bro. They got a Pancho Villa poster in a restaurant in their house because he did a lot for Mexico. He woke Mexico up, had us fighting against the oppressors. He had it popping, him and uh, Zapata. So to even see any type of information hinting that his father was a Negro and that they're from Oklahoma and that they moved uh, and that he moved to Mexico is to say that we've been showing that brother love for many years. How many other black brothers that are in, uh, in the truth or, or out there that we don't know their background. You know what I mean? Well, how, how mad would brothers to be find out that Khalid Muhammad's motherfucking uh, great, great grandfather was a Puerto Rican. Or Malcolm X's great brother was Dominican. You know what I mean? Like, like, would that change your love that you had for that person? Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and that's why we like to bring out because you know, and, and these guys aren't in the truth, you know. But you have the the, the Pan Africanist movement, and and some of some of them aren't like a lot of dudes from New York. You'll see a lot of guys from New York are not anti Latino because they really think the, the, the Puerto Rican is next door in the Jays with you. You know what I'm saying? The Dominican he's right there, so. It, it's so integrated um, in uh, in 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 New York. You don't see the resistance towards the uh, the the kingdom so much in the world or in the truth. But like people be on this a uh, uh, pro black pro black stuff, and then we be like, well, your boy Sonetta, who is bringing out all this information, he's Dominican. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all forgot that you got a Dominican right there. The guy who's and when he's around Dominicans. He acts Dominican. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like he's really a Dominican. Yeah, like, like, you know, he didn't he didn't quite grow up quite in the culture all yeah. the way because his mom is a Judite. Like he grew up predominantly with that. But he even got the look, the way he dresses, he dresses just like how the Dominicans dress with the, you know, what I mean the dress up way with the hat, with the gator. Like this nigga is a Latino, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like he talked to black power, and there's Latinos that's in the black power movement as well. Um, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Ephraimites, Manessites, Simeonites, etc. Uh, uh, you even have uh, uh, Issacharites in the Black Panther. You know what I mean? But like people would just who don't know no better won't even understand. Like, now nah, this is a Latino. Like when he went to the Spanish, what they call Spanish Harlem, which is you know the the Ephraimite, I mean not the Simeonite rather side of Harlem, he act totally different. Like he he'd be really in his element and really interacting with his tribe. You know what I'm saying? And that's going back to the point I made earlier about when a brother is around his tribe, but people don't know that and they're just so caught up on black, 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 black. But even if you look at Sonetta, you can tell he has an indigenous look. You see what I'm saying? He's just a dark-skinned brother. And he's not even all that dark-skinned, really. You see what I'm saying? But he has more of an indigenous look, but they be so caught up on black, 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 black too much, not realizing that it's an encompassing and we have this variant look and we're the children of Israel. Bro, we've never questioned kid in play. Then I ain't got time to question Sonetta. <laughs> <laughs> if that brother, he been around for years. Brother said, "Oh man, he ain't no brother." Brother have always accepted, that regardless of how melanin he was. It seemed like this truth really make brothers go super hard on being black. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 brothers gotta just be honest. Like, we can we can deny and fight it and, and make it like like niggas is just like making up something. But no, like. Literally, like before this truth, I because my mama black. tell me I ain't lying. I be because my mama black. I was raised my mama, so you know you like they say in the U.S. You got one drip of black in you, you black. So you telling me twenty some years of being black, then I get the truth. Now I'm in a car. <laughs> now now pro Northern Kingdom. Now I'm trying to go learn some Spanish and try to go wait. This like, bro, I ain't been doing none of that shit my whole entire life. <laughs> This this truth bring a new nigga out of you for real like oh you know what I mean and, and but but now having that background of being raised in the Southern Kingdom I know how to deal with the Southern Kingdom and I know how to speak to the Northern Kingdom and I and I know exactly what needs to be said and what needs to be done like like let me get you a verse man First Chronicles, uh, chapter twelve, uh, 
uh, verse 32, and the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, uh, if you know what times, the season, things like that, to know what Israel ought to do. Um, brothers think that they can do all this without confiding with Issachar. It said knew what Israel ought to do, meaning there's some wisdom and there's some knowledge that brothers could get from uh Issachar and Ephraim and like 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 come like it's it's there but for brothers to think that they don't need them and, and for brothers to put themselves on this pedestal um I know who the lion that's coming out of Judah I know who the the, the scepter won't depart from I know who's gonna make the I, I know who that is brothers don't have no problem with that but the minute you say yeah man Christ looked exactly like the so-called African Americans, identical. It's like, well, how the fuck do you know exactly what he looked like? You you better off saying he was a brown man, he was a man of color, or oh, you know what I mean? It don't describe him having long, stringy hair. But but to say that when you look at the so-called African American, you looking at Christ, it's just far fetched. That's like me saying, when you look at me, you looking at Montezuma. I can't give you no definitive stuff like that. And it's it, it's okay when brothers give an opinion. But it's when brothers try to etch it and stone it and use scriptures to actually try to support that is where it becomes an issue. Because like I told you, to this day, no one has proved to me that they Judah. I'm still waiting for a Negro to jump up on my inbox and, and go in. Like, hit me with the precepts. Like, damn, the water. Because I wanted that. Because if if Judah don't know how he's Judah, then he shouldn't be fucking worried about how I'm Issachar. He shouldn't even be concerned about how you Levi. Nigga, find out how you're Judah. Prove that to yourself. Brothers got to, br I know brothers want the meat, but even the best meat eaters got to go back and get the milk every now and then. That's right. and, and brothers brothers feel like they just too prideful. Like, ah, nah, 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 man, I'm past all that. I got the gist of it. Come on, man. Brothers, I don't think brothers will ever get the whole gist of it. I think that's why you still got elders in this troop that are still learning and growing and can give you the experience because they never just got the whole gist of it. They still learn it and try to get the gist of it. We all on the same boat. No one is over anyone right now in, in, in this earth. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's why, like you said about the 12 tribes, it's like a lot of people don't know. If you're not in the camp, you won't really know too much about it. But, you know, we we had an assignment that went out to every Sakari member got to be able to break down each and every tribe. If an Ecuadorian walks up to your camp, you got to be able to prove to this man he's an Israelite from the tribe of Asher. You got that sign that says it, then you better be able to prove it. So we expect that of each and every member of, uh, of our organization. And we encourage brothers to go and do their own research because, you know, you learn better when you do your own research and you make the breakdown your own. You're not just regurgitating what you heard. Now, I really researched Ecuador. I really researched Colombia. You know what I'm saying? I can really tell you about that tribe that was there that you descended from before the white man called you Colombian. You see what I'm saying? I can tell you about that. But if, if you're not doing that and you're just regurgitating me, you're going, hold on, he's from where? Nicaragua. What? Nicaragua. Where is Nicaragua? Oh, Central America. This is, we should, you know, we should know that. And, you know, I'm blessed because geography, history, these were things that I've always been passionate about since elementary school. You see what I'm saying? In fourth grade, my teacher, she was a sister from the South and was the last year teaching. And she was appointing different kids who were passionate in certain subjects to actually during the end of the year to actually teach the class about this subject. So I was dealing with social studies, which is dealing with, of course, history and geography. So these are things that I've always been passionate at. So when somebody says they're from Nicaragua, Zebulon, you see what I'm saying? Some brothers are going Nicaragua. Damn, where is <laughs> where is that at? And, and, and that's not really a big deal. But damn it, you better know when this Nicaraguan brother walked up. You see what I'm saying? And you're going, OK, brother, you from the tribe of Zebulon. This is the history, the great history of the Mayans. And even before that, you were the men with understanding of the times going all the way back. You got to be able to bring this full circle. And like you just said about uh, uh, Issachar having understanding of the times, each of the tribes had particular allotments. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that can't be abused. We got to be coming up into each of our allotments right now. You know what I mean? Issachar got to be taking this understanding. And Zebulon got to be taking this understanding of the time. Serious. Gad got to yeah. be warriors. Levi, we got to be priests. We're all kings and we are all priests. But there is a specific order that was given to Levi. You see what I'm saying? There's still certain things that were given exclusively to us that we need to embrace. The same way gifts were given to y'all, gifts were given to Judah, gifts were given to all these tribes. And we need to be coming to a time where we're embracing them and we're learning about 
each of each other. I mean, we're learning about ourselves uniquely so we can be the best Levite, the best Israelite, the best Judite that we can be, and then help the other tribes be the best that they can be. You know, right. if, I'm a, if I'm a Levite, I better know the law. You know what I mean? Brothers know you can call me and ask me about the law. I haven't always known the law, but I said, damn, I'm a Levite. So, you know, I should not. Should, the book of Leviticus, Leviticus means pertaining to the Levites. I should know what's in that book. You should no. be able to call me and I can clarify to you. Oh, yeah, uh, this means that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that's talking about that. I'm going to show you this in the Hebrew. I, I better be able to do that because it's the, the gift. That was given to me. You see what I'm saying? So Issachar better know. Uh, Issacharite brother um, had, had, had was like, man, you know that 2012 thing? Oh, who you know? The brother Sergio. Yeah. Um, he called me one day and he was like, ah, that 2012 thing, I think there might be something to it. Look into it. I said, all right, cool. I'm going to look into it. And I looked into it and there is something to it. Uh, the clock started in 1619 and there was a clock of 144,000 days. Um, and it didn't actually end in 2012. The white man, not knowing anything, <laughs> thought it ended in 2012, but it was 144,000 days from 2019, which is 400 years. From 2019, of all years, right? So Issachar is prophesying our captivity and the end of our captivity, not saying exactly our captivity is going to end in 2019, but we know that it's a, about 400 years that this would occur to. The scriptures talk about it. And Issachar had this prophecy, right? But if he wouldn't have said, damn, I think there's something to it, maybe recollecting something in his spirit from his past life when he was the nigga etching it in stone, but possibly, you see what I'm saying? And uh -huh. now it's like, boom, but he, he, I never thought about it for real. You see what I'm saying? I thought, bro, that it didn't end, you know, to hell with it, that's silly. But when we, then we go in the Bible and we say, this is a gift that was given to Issachar and Zebulon. So they got time keeping wrong. The guys who God said, <laughs> would do this when we look at levi levi even though we're doing voodoo we're executing a priesthood to a t right now in wickedness but still executing a priesthood to a t so it's a car and zebulon ain't gonna be able to tell deal with the time i believe they are so then we looked into and we said damn 144,000 days of all numbers of, of any set of days that can have it's 144,000 days that starts in 1619 and that equals 400 years that's wow. Mm -hmm. You can't make that up. That's stranger than fiction right there. But that shows these are the gifts. And that also works cohesively as a further testament to who the tribes are. These guys got the time down, Pat. Do you? <laughs> Where's the great no, no. Judite calendar in America? You know what I mean? It's not there. Why? It's not your blessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's theirs. So y'all showed out with that. You know what I'm saying? Come, come, come. Yeah, no, no. You make a awful point. That's what I said, man. <laughs> scriptures say what this one would be this one would do this this one would do this man and and, and that's how i'm gonna start determining man who's who's really for the betterment of the nation as a whole man if a brother is man then then he he, he wants to see all these gifts um uh, uh brought forth man he don't he don't want to just hold pride on his what if i just held pride on my oh man hey you you niggas can't keep the feast day unless you holler with the iron donkey nigga. i ain't gonna i ain't releasing no feast day calendars until you niggas get with me it's like damn you selfish motherfucker. it's like bro i know that's your gift but damn you ain't gonna tell brothers this we is it, is it right is it off we know that's your gift we know that's what you be focusing on you probably teach your kids that that's your thing so um you know, brothers definitely got to show the love, man. Brothers, it, it, it's definitely got to, uh, it's definitely got to be a mutual thing, man. Where it's available for everybody, man. And uh, I'm, I'm glad we had this conversation, man. Um, most high willing, man. Brothers take a lot of good from this conversation um, to hear it out of a uh, out of another brother's mouth, and, and, and to see, man, that uh, that we're not alone, man. We're not alone, man. Through our experiences, man, and uh, through our growth and understanding uh we're able to be a better people you know i know brothers pride themselves in being macho macho but man you know when when you hear brothers shed tears man and you 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 hear you you hear the women going through it and the men going through it and and they just want to be accepted and they just want to come to the feast days and you know that someone go in on them call them all this that and the third and really you know demotivate them it's it's something that's constantly happening 
with the Northern Kingdom on a daily basis. Not to just put it just, but but it's true. You know what I mean? Some Negroes might get vexed every now and then by, by Latino being mad, but on a daily basis, tell yourself that every time a Latino come in this troop and the minute they put Yahweh or Ahai on their name and they say Shalom, they might get vexed within their first week. Like you got to have tough skin being Latino in this troop. Just like we was in the streets, what did we used to say? Man, you got to be active to be a blood. <laughs> you gotta be with the program to be a dom move. Like you gonna wear that bright red and walk down the damn street. Like like blue is a little bit more neutral. It blends in, but that red, you a target. Same thing coming in looking like Canelo Alvarez, man. You a motherfucking target. You a dom move in a in a room full of locs, and, and and you stand out like a sore thumb. And as soon as they can see you, they own you, and they gonna hit you up with where you from? Hey, hey, hey where your pop stay? Like like they wanna get to know. Like what you doing over here? Like no, Shalom, man. I, I'm an Israelite, man. Yeah, niggas that lied to you, bro. You better get up out of here. And, 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 and I don't want that to happen no more, man. So I do appreciate the gorilla Hebrew, the big Nazarite. You know what I mean? Expounding on this conversation, man. All praise to the most high. Yahweh by Shem Hamashiach Yahweh shot, man. That's right. That's right. Appreciate you, bro. At any time, bro. You already know. All right, man. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, man. That was a beautiful... um beautiful discussion with the brother man and i hope um i hope that the audience out there gained edification through the spirit of power of yahweh by shim yahweh shai and i'm glad that a brother from the north was able to come in and air the grievances that the northern kingdom is having that us of the south need to be conscious of um we need to be thinking about um and we need to be careful about you know when out there teaching when, when bringing a word and always just only putting emphasis on us on the southern kingdom on the black tribes and negating them, you know what I'm saying? Treating them like, again, second-class citizens is not right. And I understand in part, um, of course, because we know black was demeaned so much. So we always are taking that pride. Like, yeah, man, we black, the Jews are black. Christ is a black man. God is a black man. So we're, we're always going to, especially with how demeaned black has been in the society, we're going to, you know, it's in us. Like, I'm Southern Kingdom, bro. I mean, people look at me like I'm Northern Kingdom, but, bro, I've always been proud to be a black man my whole life you know what i'm saying regardless of how anybody perceived me it was emphasized in me that i was a black man from a child from a from a toddler and that's something that i've always been about and pressed the line on period you know um i even going up in jail like again i always speak on how the jails in california are racially segregated um so i've gone into jail and dealing with the deputies and the deputies thinking i'm something that i'm not and i'm looking at deputies like nigga i'm black and if I got to go up in here and if any other black man got a problem with me being black in here because of the way I look, nigga, we're going to have to go in the cell and we're going to have to get a head up fade about it. And that's real. These things occur. These are things that happen. You see what I'm saying? Um, to where you literally got to go toe to toe with another black man because he wants to call you being black into integrity. And until you catch that fade with him, he's not going to respect you as a black man because he has some societal perception. So these things are real and I understand. But um, we are. If you if you are an adherent to the 12 tribes chart, um, we need to make sure that we're being careful in quantifying who the 12 tribes are, not neglecting kingdoms. You know what I mean? Um, and we also have to emphasize Native Americans because I'll catch myself. I'll just say black and Latino and just leave Gad out of it, Gad and Ruben out of it. But they may look like, well, I'm not black and I'm not Latino. So then what am I? Or this ain't for me. So we got to make sure that we're there for all the tribes, man, through the spirit and power and by the will of Abinawi Yahweh Bahasham Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Um, real quick though, I've been drinking a lot of fluids, so um, I'll be right back. And I got a couple of topics that I want to touch on. Um, and then we'll open it up for Q and A. I got time. I'm rocking tonight through the spirit of power Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. So just give me one second.
All right, Salakia. So, boom, we back. All praise you. How about you, Mal Shai? Again, I hope y'all was edified. Um, but yeah, I got some scriptures I want to go into. Um, and matter of fact, let me get this one first and foremost before I even leave off on on that topic that we were just going into. Um. Zechariah 9. Zechariah 9 and uh, chapter 12, verse 1. It says, turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. That's what we are as the Israelites. We are prisoners of hope. We need to turn to the stronghold, which is this truth in the name of the Most High and the Son. Uh, Even today do I declare that I will render, uh, render double unto thee when I have bent Judah for me. And filled the bow with Ephraim. So this is a, a, a symbol of togetherness of the tribes. And Judah being the bow and Ephraim being the arrow. So a bow by itself isn't very effective. And an arrow by itself isn't very effective. But once you take that arrow and you put it in the bow, it becomes a deadly weapon. Um, so we're just trying to wake up the tribes so we can become that deadly weapon through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says again, when I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made as the, uh, made thee as a sword of a mighty man. That's what we're looking to become through the spirit. Um, but there's the only way that's going to occur is if we do it together. You know what I mean? Um, even if that takes some of each kingdom going and building up and then coming together. Um, you know, like I said, it, there's nothing wrong with uh, a specified uh, operation going and targeting uh, the Latino tribe, um, going and targeting the tribe of Levi, the tar- tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin. There's nothing wrong with it. Do it through the spirit of power. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Wake the tribes up and bring us together as one stick or as a bow and arrow, as a mighty, uh, deadly weapon. You know what I mean? Um, let me get another one. Okay, this is 2 Chronicles 11, and I'm going to start at 13. And the priests and the Levites that were in all Israel, Selachia. Actually, no, this is not the one I want. Selachia. Uh, I think it's the next one. Yeah, 2 Chronicles 30. <coughs> This is uh, 2 Chronicles 30 and 1. Uh, and Hezekiah sent to all Israel and Judah. So he sent to both kingdoms, which Hezekiah um, was a king of Judah at the time, and wrote letters also to Ephraim and Manasseh to the north, that they should come to the house of Yahweh at Jerusalem to keep the Passover unto Yahweh power of Israel. For the king had taken counsel and his princes and all the congregation in Jerusalem to keep the Passover in the second month. Uh, for they could not keep it in, in, in that time because the priests had not sanctified themselves sufficiently, neither had the people gathered themselves together to Jerusalem. And the thing pleased the king and all the congregation. What's what pleased the king and all the congregation? Inviting the north. And and this is kind of symbolizing this time with Abba Bivens or, or Elder Bivens, rather, um, bringing in the northern kingdom when you had guys who were trying to gather and only bring in the southern king. He bringing in that northern kingdom. That's like a, a spiritual uh, repetition of this situation here in, in Hezekiah in uh, in Second Chronicles thirty, um, verse five. So they established a decree to make proclamation throughout all Israel, from Beersheba even to Dan, that they should uh, come to keep the Passover unto Yahweh, power of Israel at Jerusalem, for they had not done it of a long time in such short, as it is written. Uh, so the post went to the letters from the king. And his princes throughout all Israel and Judah, according to the commandment of the king, saying, Ye children of Israel, right? Ye children of Israel, all tribes, both kingdoms, ye children of Israel, 
Turn again unto Yahweh, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and he will return to the remnant of you. Notice the remnant of you that escaped out of the hand of the kings of Assyria. And be not like your fathers, and let your brethren, which trespassed against Yahweh, power of their father, who therefore gave them up to desolation, as ye see. Now be, be ye not stiff-necked as your fathers were, but yield yourselves unto Yahweh and enter his sanctuary, which he have sanctified forever, and serve Yahweh your power, that the uh, fierceness of his wrath may not may turn away from you. For if ye turn again unto Yahweh, basically the same message that we're preaching to our people week in and week out. Your brethren and your children shall find compassion before of them that led them captive. So he's basically saying this is a remnant of northern kingdom that's still in the north that didn't get carried away into the Assyrian captivity. So he's basically saying, listen, if y'all would do this, the Lord peradventure may have mercy and bring them out of captivity, right? So that they should come again into this land. For Yahweh, your power is gracious and merciful and will not turn away his face from you if you return unto him. So the post passed from city to city through the country of Ephraim and Manasseh, even unto Zebulon. But they laughed them to scorn and mocked them. And see, some people will say, oh, if I if I try to teach the Latinos, they, they're not going to take me seriously. But it's the same thing happened then. We try to teach the Latinos then, some of them, and they laughed to scorn. But read, but watch this. Nevertheless, diverse of Asher and Manasseh and Zebulon humbled themselves and came to Jerusalem. You see that? So even though just like we, and people act as if when we go to our own people or our own kingdom of the southern kingdom, this quote unquote black tribes, they're doing the same damn thing. Right. But diverse of the, the, the three tribes are going to come the same way diverse of the nine tribes is going to come. Also in Judah, the hand of God was uh, was to give them one heart to do the commandment of the king and of the princes by word of Yahweh. And there assembled at Jerusalem much people to keep the feast of unleavened bread in the second month, a very great congregation. And they arose and took away the altars that were in Jerusalem, and all the altars for incense took they away and cast them into the brook of Kidron. And they killed the Passover on the 14th day of the second month, and the priests and Levites were ashamed and sanctified themselves and brought in the burnt offering in the house of Yahweh. And they stood up in their place after of their manner, according to the law of Moses, the man of the Most High. The priests sprinkled the blood which they received of the hand of the Levites, for there were many in the congregation that were not sanctified. Therefore, the Levites had the charge of killing the Passover for everyone that was not clean to sanctify them unto Yahweh. So basically, the way the Passover went is that Passover lamb would be killed by each the head of each household. Um, but for those that weren't sanctified... You still, according to the law, which is precedented by Moses, can keep the Passover if you're not sanctified. But as far as the, the the service of killing the lamb, the Levites who were sanctified would do that on your part. But you would just eat it. Verse 18, for the multitude of people, even many of Ephraim and Manasseh and Issachar and Zebulon had not cleansed themselves. Yet did they eat the Passover otherwise than it was written. But Hezekiah prayed for them, saying uh, the good Yahweh. Uh, the Tawab Yahweh pardoned everyone. So he prayed for their pardon that they even made the effort to come and seek Yahweh again, man. And then brothers was pardoned. Uh, that prepareth his heart to seek the Most High, uh, Salakia, for a multitude of Salakia. For a multitude of people, even many of Ephraim, and Manasseh, Issachar, and Zebulon had not cleansed themselves, yet they did eat the Passover, otherwise that it is written. But Hezekiah prayed for them, saying, The good Yahweh pardon of everyone that prepareth his heart to seek the Most High. Yahweh, power of his fathers, uh, though he be not cleansed according to the, the purification of the sanctuary. And Yahweh hearkened to Hezekiah and healed the people. You see that? When the northern and southern kingdom come together in righteousness and true unity to seek Yahweh, Yahweh will heal the people. And that's what we need to be healed right now. So y'all want to keep vexing Ephraim and, 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 and excluding them because of simple, simplistic carnality, man. We're never going to be healed until you accept your brothers, man. We're never going to be healed. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, us of the south, we need to make sure that we open in our brothers with open arms and uplifting them as much as we uplift in ourselves as the Israelites so we can be healed collectively, man. Hezekiah was like, you niggas are second class citizens. You are the children of God. Y'all got to come and eat too. Damn, y'all ain't sanctified. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to pray for y'all. You see what I'm saying? That we all going to do this together collectively through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. That's, we got to be in that spirit, the spirit of Hezekiah in this time, man.
That's the spirit we got to be in. All right? Get off that BS, man. All right? Rebuke that BS. Get that evil spirit up off you, man. All right? But with that, I'm going to go into my other topic that I wanted to deal with. Um, and then we'll open it up for, for questions. But the topic that I want, <coughs> I want to deal with in brief is the importance of congregating. Because just like you have Negro-only trolls running around the Internet, you have now Latino-only trolls running around the Internet. You also have these individualites, anti, quote-unquote, anti-campers rolling around the Internet. And we've addressed it before, but it was just on my spirit earlier to go back into it. So I'm, I'm not, I don't fight the spirit. Force not the course of the water. We're going to go in the spirit. So the spirit want me to bring it out. Through the spirit, I'm going to bring it out. All right? Because the most high is, you know, he didn't do that for no reason. Right? Somebody needs to hear it. Excuse me. So I'm going to start with, with Exodus, the law, 23 <coughs> and 17. There are three times in the year all thy males shall appear <coughs> before you out. <coughs> Three times in a year. So there's at least, according to the law, at least three times that you should be congregating with your brothers. At least three. It's mandated in the law that at least three times. And this is showing uh, MO and an example here, right? So let's go to my next precept. Here in one of the books of wisdom, the book of Ecclesiastes. Um, this is Ecclesiastes 4, and I'll start at 8. There is one alone, and there is not a second. Yea, he hath neither child nor brother, yet is there no end of all his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches, neither saith he, for whom doth I labor, and bereave my soul of good. Uh, this is also vanity, yet it is sore travail. So, to be an individual, like to be on your own, to be a lone wolf or a lone ranger is vanity. It's vain. And, and that's why their whole lives, nine times out of ten, are consumed with just being a troll. It's vanity. that Their whole life is vanity, man. That's according to the Bible. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at God, as we always say in the spirit. Right? Continuing on to verse nine. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. You see, that's a good reward for the labor of two. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. And that's one of the main things that's so important about a congregation or a camp. The fact that you have men around you that are not only going to hold you accountable, but they're going to weep when you weep. And they're going to be there to pick you up. They're going to be brothers to you. By yourself, you're not going to receive that. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe, but woe to him that is alone. You see that? Woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. It's vanity and woe to the individual like in the Bible. Verse 13, or verse 11, rather. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? So it's just giving you serial examples of the importance of having fellows, right? Verse 12. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. Meaning you're not even, you, got, you run around with your boy, you can't even get your ass whooped because y'all going to jump him. <laughs> and a threefold, cord, a threefold cord, rather, is not quickly broken. So then, you know, which is like a braided rope um, showing the importance of even more having a third there, fourth, etc. So the scriptures are clearly against individualism. We'll go to another scripture on it, though. We'll go to the New Testament. Hebrews 10 and 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. You're not supposed to forsake this. Um, Psalms 133 and 1, brotherly love, how beautiful is it, right? Uh, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. So you can have individualized then, and they were being spoken against by the apostles and prophets of that time. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. But exhorting one another, uh, and so much the more as ye the day approaching, as ye see the day approaching, as ye see the incoming, we should be exhorting each other and gathering together and being. That's why we're doing these summits through the spirit of Prophet Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, because we see the day coming. 
right, in the spirit. So now let's go to the gospel, the words of, of our king, our anointed savior, Yahweh Shai. This is, um, Matthew 19 and 20. It's a lot here. I think I got this wrong. One second. Matthew 18 and 20. That's it. <coughs> Matthew 18 and 20. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So it says, when you're gathered by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, through the Spirit is in the midst, by yourself, you ain't got that, man. Right? You ain't got it. Um, so I, I'm going to get another scripture in the gospel, in the gospel according to Mark. Um, 14. Mark 14 and 49. Uh, I was daily with you in the temple teaching that you took me not, uh, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. So what's the point of this? Showing that Yahweh I was daily in that temple with where the other Israelites were. Went to the market. He was always, unless he was going to pray, he was always surrounding himself with brothers. Either the twelve or, you know, the other um, 70, um, uh, or just Israel in general, a thousand Israelites, the world follow him. He was he would never forsaken that. That wasn't the way Yahweh Shai laid it out for us. So why would we do that? It don't even make no sense. So I wanted to bring those scriptures out in in, in, um, in regards to that. Spirit was on me again, so, you know, I, I perceived that the Most High needed somebody to hear that. Um, you know, but uh, with that, I want to... Uh, like where do I got this at? Here we go. With that now, I want to open up the chat. This is going nuts. Hold on, you know what? Let me just refresh. <clears throat> I want to open up the chat for questions. With that now, let's see the chat. Okay. Yeah, we got a brother in Fayetteville, Ayanya Kaza. Doc, just email us. Email us. Somebody post an email for Doc Whitley. Don't worry, I'll get you in touch with the brother in Fayetteville, North Carolina. RL, we've dealt with that so many times. Recall Shayar of GOCC is a damn demon. And I'll say that boldly. Because I'm sick and tired of him lying blatantly about the name of our God. He's only doing that because the name of our God is dreadful among the heathen. And he can't have all those crackers and those Japhites in his congregation if he pronounces the name of our God. It's a Canaanite guy. He don't got no precepts to prove. First off, change the name of every prophet in the Bible. Change the whole Bible. Rakasha Yar is a demon, man. <clears throat> How do you combat both parents being an Israelite? Of course, Numbers 1 and 18, these niggas think they have some type of a scapegoat from Numbers 1 and 18, which is stupid. Um, so I'll give you a couple other precepts that work cohesively in addition to that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shada to further substantiate the point. <clears throat> Let's go to the book of Ezra 2. And 59. And these were they which went up from Tel Malah, Tel Harsa, Cherub, Adon, and Emer. But they could not shew their father's house and their seed, whether they were of Israel. So it says to show if you are of Israel is by your father's house and seed. That's Ezra 2 and 59. Right? Uh, where's my other one here in Chronicles? So I can go backwards. <clears throat> Give you some other ones as well. In the spirit.
the Wada JH one. One second. I'm trying to get this very specific precept. Is this the one I'm looking for? 24. Salahia. Might be second. It's got to be right here. It's a lot of Damn, now why am I in second chronicle still? This is crazy. I'm going to get right to the question. E1B1A, prove it. All you're going to do is copy and paste. If you can't break that science down, don't spit it to me, man. I need you to break that science down. You need to know it. Are you a biologist? If not, don't purport it to me, King. Sorry. What is what I'm looking for? Hold on. I'm dealing with it now. 23. So lucky. Like Here it is. Uh, this is First Chronicles 23 and 14, right? in addition to Numbers 1 and 18 and Ezra 2 and 59 to prove to be an uh, Israelite. You just have to have a father that's an Israelite. Uh, now concerning Moses, the man of God, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi. But his, his wife, uh, his wife um, was, a, was a Cushite. She was an Ethiopian, as is identified earlier. Therefore, if an Israelite got with a Hamedic, Cushitic woman and made Israelites, then you don't need two Israelite parents to be an Israelite. That was ridiculous. No, that doesn't mean that we're not going to have a temple, Jamil. Um, Y'all repost the questions. But yeah, those are those are good. And also, um, matter of fact, let me get this one too. This one will like seal like the icing on the cake scripture for you are who your father is. You go to other exam there's there's other examples as well. But I'm gonna just give you the a few. We have various videos on it you can check out. But I'm gonna go to the New Testament, Romans eleven and sixteen. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches, the root, the seed line you come from. If it's an Israelite, then you're an Israelite. Regardless of um, the soil you were planted in. No, Deuteronomy 7 is specifically only talking about Canaanite women. So it's technically not unlawful to marry other heathen women. It's just not wise. It's, it's not the thing to do. But we can show examples of brothers who were counted as righteous in the scriptures who did that. So... Um, they didn't technically sin, but it's definitely advised against, and I would never advise a brother to deal with a heathen woman. But it's certainly, um, unless they're Canaanites, it's not technically unlawful. Well, I, I, I know why. Um, everybody being servants, everybody's not going to be a servant forever. OK, um, captivity after the millennial reign, captivity is going to end for many of the nations, but not for the Canaanites. Esau will be exterminated and Canaanites will still be serving. Like it says, a servant, a servant shall they be. So we're literally going to sell Canaanites to Sabians who are Cushites. No, Sirach 1 and 1 is not talking about Yahweh. That happened before. It's just a brother with the same name. No, she wasn't a Midianite. She was a Cushite. If you study the history of Midian, the people of Midian worshipped a Cushitic religion. That's why a priest of Midian was a Cushite, because he's the one that taught them their religion. Which was the religion of the worship of the, the Babylonian uh, moon god Sin, which is where you get the origins of Allah and Islam from, brother. <clears throat> Uh, 
NBA Clout TV, that's going to occur. It happens to a lot of brothers. You need to invoke the name of Yahweh and do so by Hashem Yahweh Shai um, in order to ward that off. But it's going to occur. It happens to a lot of brothers. Right now, currently, we do not have a camp in St. Louis. JH125, um, you can send us an email. What was the question that you asked earlier, King, when you gave your donation? I missed it because the chat is moving and I was answering another question. How can you bring a new wife into polygamy? There's no, there's no one way to answer that. Each um, situation is unique. There's no thoughts on it. I mean, people, Yahweh is one. People did that. Um, that doesn't mean that they are Israelites, and that doesn't mean that they can be saved. But people most certainly uh, worshiped our God, or at least attempted to, who were not our people. That happened. No, he will not destroy the souls of, of the two-thirds from existence. All Israel will be saved. <clears throat> that haplogroup madness, that's madness. Because if you don't know the origins of which that came, you don't understand the agenda. Every single scientist that came up with that madness is a Jewish man. Um, that That's nothing to go off of. That's If it's a science that you don't understand fully, how can you uh, uh, purport it as true? He could, Google. Second Corinthians 12 and 16. I'm going there now. Second Corinthians 12 and 16. But be it so, I did not burden you nevertheless being crafty i caught you with god somebody asked you meaning he was crafty about how he um woke them up he used craft he used god he um may have uh, uh embellished on things in order to wake brothers up and bring brothers to righteousness yeah i mean deuteronomy 17 and 17 in order to understand that you just got to start up plain and simple And uh, I'll give y'all an angle, too, to come at when people try to use this and force fit it to every Israelite. And and, and then even that scripture is not meaning a, a, a king should not practice polygyny because David certainly did. And he was never called wicked for it. He was called wicked for uh, having sex with somebody else's wife and numbering Israel. But he was never called a sinner for having all the wives he had, which he had a gang. Right. Uh where we at seven Deuteronomy 17 and 17 right so neither shall he walk multiply why all you do is start at 14 when thou art come unto the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee and shall possess it and shall dwell therein and shall say I will set a king over me like all the nations that are round about me so that is the proper context of that scripture so you can't apply that to everybody and if that's the case if they say well we're all kings okay but we're also priests the high priest is only allowed to marry a virgin. So the same girl that's trying to use this to tell you that you can't she you can't have another wife, you better tell her, well, if she ever had sex with anybody before she met you, she can't be your wife. So, hey, sorry, baby, I got to go off that same standard. Judge not, lest she be judged. That's the way to do that. RL, um, I, would she call a Midianitis? I believe she could have been, but she's she's clearly um, defined as nationally being a, a Kushite, an Ethiopian. Look up our video on the Trinity. I'm not even. We have plenty of videos debating the Trinity. Uh, you can watch that. Watch our video on the 12 seals. Just look, type in Sakari 12 seals.
And you're not totally bugging out Jacole Chandler. Our brother, Officer Rayebi of Sakari Seattle, has a lot of informative videos on Leviathan. King Solomon and Queen Sheba never had a son. Yeah, exactly. It's all because if we go by that, Jewish men are Jewish people are are Israelite. Salam to the tribe of Manessa. Quam <laughs> Manessa. Quam Manasha. Let me see. Hebrews 10. No, it's not saying to do away with it. What it's saying is it doesn't make people perfect to own it. So basically, giving a sacrifice will not make you stop sinning. It may atone for that sin at that time, but it won't make you stop sinning, right? Versus Yahweh Shai. Yeah, yeah, Khan Ayash. The, 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 and watch the video that Deacon Akai did on the sacrificial law not being done away with, which is why we have to... Uh, Present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Uh, the one, brother who did our is called our brother name. Um, what does he call himself now? JC, brother JC, who um, who did it? Uh, our, our logo. All praises to one of dips. Uh, shout out to Kyrie, uh, Sierra rather, and Tyree. Shalom to y'all. All praise to the Most High for y'all. No, Ak means brother. Email is Exodus seventeen fifteen. Exodus without the e. No, sons of Yah. He was not saying that they can be Israelites. He was saying that if we follow the skin color logic, certain people would attempt to include them. Oh, Minister Don, I got to find that video. I got to find it. I would love to put that back up. That was classic. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 13 through 20. Okay, hold on. Hmm. No, it's not. It's not. Um, it's really just talking about Israel. Start at the top because the thing is, um, the context does not change here in Wisdom of Solomon. So the context starts right at the top. Uh, wisdom two and one, or the ungodly said reasoning within themselves. Right. So this is all the reasoning of the ungodly within themselves that's being talked about. So it's all about verse 10. Let us oppress the poor, righteous man. Let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. So it's all about oppressing us. That's what uh, the whole wisdom of Solomon 2 is dealing with in the spirit. 
to lock in. I have been doing for a while. I'm not saying Byron. I'm not saying it's off. I'm just saying it's not uh, the true. It's not the true Sabbath. I'm not telling you what day to keep. I'm telling you that Friday to Saturday is not the actual Sabbath. Um, it has not been since the beginning of time. I'm not knocking brothers who keep it. I'm just we just made brothers aware of that and um, explain why we go by the new moon. I would advise a lunar Sabbath, but brothers can do what they want. The ordinances are talking about the violations of the laws that we broke in uh, Colossians 2 and 14. Yahweh is one. Look at it in other translations and it, it'll be very, um, very clear. Google, Google. I heard you was trolling to Google. Is that true? <coughs> you're, you're. See, look, I feel like you're trolling. You just said that your child turns eight tomorrow and he was born with SIDS. SIDS is sudden infant death, so that means he's not turning nothing tomorrow. So I feel like there's some type of trolling going on. Is sundown Shabbat wrong? I know, Sakari. So yeah, well, sundown, yes. Shabbat starts at sundown and goes until the next sundown. I mean, we got a video on the head covering thing. Um, it's really a silly argument because it's Hebraic culture to wear headgear, head scarves, turbans, etc. Um, some people think that this is a head covering when your whole head is not, as you can see, my head is not covered. But, you know, there's a he, the book of Matthew was originally written in Hebrew, but the Hebrew autograph doesn't exist anymore. Hasn't been discovered. No, it's it's not necessarily demonic. Um, if you're getting attacked by demons, then it is. But if you're getting lucid dreams that come true, then it's it's not necessarily demonic. Um, scriptures speak about men falling into trances and getting visions from the Most High God. That occurs. So, um, well, if, if he's trying to wear as my mods, um, so yeah, that that occurs. I get vivid dreams and they happen all the time. Oh, so wait, what's your question exactly? If you could reiterate it, JH one. Um, uh, my debate with Quana. Deacon Haka is setting that up, so um, I got to talk to him because I'm in Facebook jail, and that's how brothers are communicating with Quanah. I would love to have that discussion with him, but uh, I got to get with Deacon about if he has set that up. All praise you, how about you, how shy paper money? I always love you on the comment boards, um, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm glad that you know you're being edified and we're, we're being of service to you. Why are Mitri's warned? It's our culture, brother. It's our culture. <laughs> Jacob Chandler, just go to Sakari Seattle. Type in Sakari Seattle. You'll be able to find those videos. Yeah, any Israelite can wear it. RL, that's a question you'd have to ask AOC. When I get out, if I fail. Yeah, brothers can take the test until they pass. You just when you fail the test, you got to wait three weeks to take it again. Manny Valle, uh, Arvel, uh, yeah, DeaconSakari.com. You can get, you can get, like the one I got, I got off DeaconSakari.com. So, yeah, we do sell those. What is adultery in the Bible? Let's go right to the law. You ask the right priest. Let's deal with that in the spirit. <coughs> Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So anyone that has sex with somebody else's wife is an adulterer or anyone that also, which Yahweh Shai expounds on in the New Testament, anyone that puts his wife away and deals with another one is also an adulterer because you are causing her to commit adultery by putting her away unjustly. Does the Bible speak of people born with call and veil over the face? What you mean, Carla? I don't, I'm not familiar with that. Do you guys make Israelite shirts with French? Yes, if you look on he, Young Hebrew Israelite, go on Instagram and put in Hebrew Israelite Clothing Co. with all underscores in between each word. And we do actually have search for sale. Brother Soldier, Don Yala Ben uh, runs that. That's his business. So Hebrew Israelite Clothing Co. 
that will, uh, uh, you know, you'll be able to get your uh, Hebrews like clothing needs. Are all deities pop copies of Babylonian God? All except Yahweh, pretty much, are uh, an adaptation of a, a mystery Babylonian God uh, from from ancient Babylon, rather. Scarves are at DeaconSakari.com. Uh, clothing is you go to Hebrews like clothing co on Instagram or Facebook. All praise Yahweh, watching Yahweh shine. Shalom, brother Anand in the building. you touch on that. First Kings 11 1 to 8 through the Spirit. Okay. Okay, yeah, come. First Kings 11 1 to 8. Uh, first Kings 11 and 1, but King Solomon loved many strange women together, uh, the daughters of Pharaoh, uh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which Yahweh said unto the children of Israel, ye shall not go in unto them, neither shall they come in unto you. So notice, it says of the nations, and it says that right after it says Sidonians and Hittites. So now let's go to the law <coughs> when Yahweh said this. Because you can't just go here and say, see, you can't deal with any of the nations. Again, not telling people to deal with the nations, but there are only specific nations that the Most High said not to go into and, and not let come unto you. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 1. When Yahweh, thy power, will bring thee into the land uh, whither thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Gergesites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater than thee. Again, what does it say? And the, uh, the Zidonians and Hittites, uh, which were just named, of the nations concerning which Yahweh uh, said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart after their God Solomon clave to them in love. You see, so that's what be problematic about dealing with these heathen women. And you got to be careful even with sisters now, because a lot of sisters, sisters have you in church quick as a mug. You know, if you're not uh, guiding yourself right. It already came, I buy it. Check the channel. All three debates I have with Bashir are currently on our channel and on Solar Vision's channel. I'm not sure about Leviathan. So that, that, um, is, is adultery also when Yasharala went off? Yes, adultery on a spiritual level is when you worship any god outside of Yahweh. Yes, that's a spiritual adultery system. That's right. Um, yeah, the Gregorian calendar is because, according to the Gregorian calendar, currently Friday to Saturday is the seventh day of the week, but it, it hasn't always been. So it's it's just deceptive. But I mean, again, if somebody wants to do it, I'm not going to knock them, but don't do it in mind that you really think this is the actual day from the beginning of time. That's our only issue. I was having a debate about oral. Uh, yeah, that that's not in the Bible. And, and so I'm not going to deal with it. No, weed is not a sacrament. <coughs> Stop smoking weed. Hebrews 13 and 4. <clears throat> uh, Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable in all things. Uh, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers will God judge. These are people who uh, partake in illicit sexual activities. Whoremongering means prostituting ourselves or being some type of a pimp. Um, whore, of course, whoring is, is um, you know, sex for money. So mongering whoredom is profiting off of paid sexual experiences. So being a pimp or a prostitute yourself. But marriage is honorable, not selling your body. Um, not having sex with other people's wives, but being a man who has a wife. That's honorable. <coughs> the whole world, <coughs> I wouldn't say that. 
we have to understand the world in Second Ezra is still in reference in, in oftentimes to Israel as well, because even in the uh, in the Apocrypha we see um, Israel being called the world there. He says Second Ezra nine eighteen. Yeah, nah, nah. See, because it says the world is for that law is burnt. It's talking about Israel because he even in, and you got to remember, Kassai, soldier, um, in second Ezra three, he says only Israel has kept our precepts and not the heathen. So that would contradict the statement he made earlier if that's what he meant. Uh, paper money. We don't sell Sakari T-shirts. Those must be earned. Mr. Tarona, you're 100% correct. Well, young Hebrew Israelite, fight that fight then, brother. Uh, in the temple, in the temple knowledge, the incense altar is the throat, the vocal box. Why? Because we see prayers being likened to the incense, which is emanating, which is what you're vocalizing, and it going up to your heart. Uh, not currently. We're going to start going into the Hebrew more, though. If you really want to stop, brother, add, pray to the Lord. If you really want to stop. That's where it first starts. And then pray to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and fast. I'm not sure, Edwin. I could look into it, though. Genesis 114 says, herb bearing seed for meat, not for smoke, my brother. You're struggling with it. Open up the chest. You like it. You're struggling with it because it's an addiction. The same way this brother is talking about, you know, the, the issue that he has. You're struggling with it because it's an addiction. So you should stop doing it. Right? Watch this. I got the addiction scripture an addiction scripture right um first corinthians 6 and 12 all things are lawful unto me but all things are not expedient all things are lawful for me but i will not be brought under the power of any okay that's addiction you're brought under the power of something don't be brought under that power well that's why i said pray to the most high in fact I already broke down Hebrews 13 and 14. No one said eating edibles was a sin, but if you're eating edibles to get high, you're being a junkie and you're all you also have an addiction. Call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai Stephen Martin. Uh, I'll buy it. We we had a debate. Check the channel, King. <laughs> Good point, I Stop buying the weed and you won't be smoking it. Con, Jacob. How do you earn a Sakari shirt? You have to go through the 12-week course and pass the test and become a certified soldier in the sector of the Sakari. Like I'm really trying to get to everybody, man. I'm really trying to get to everybody. <sighs> well, you got to study their tribes, bro. There are Israelites in Africa, certainly. Yeah, Tierra, you're correct. That would imply that, certainly. Sober mind would imply not to get high. 
No, there's no way to the Mandela effect. Brother, the, uh, everybody's asking for Leviathan lessons. Go to Sakari, Seattle. The brother Rayabi Bangad has very in depth, comprehensive, and multiple Leviathan lessons. Uh, Mr. Tarones, uh, John 17 and 9, Yahweh Shai is saying he prays for the 12 disciples. That's what he was talking about. Well, his name, Yahweh and Jesus, ain't the same. Jesus is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Most High. Why a many will sacrificial offering still be in place? Because that's how you worship Yahweh. How do you say hallelujah in Paleo Hebrew? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's for medicine. That's what the intention of marijuana is for. It's to be ingested, not smoked for its medicinal purposes. Through studying the Hebrew, Joshua. Kind of pay for money. A tear or no, but there is a certain, there is strange incense, meaning Yahweh gave a very specific ingredient and recipe to the type of incense that was to be burned on the incense altar by the Levitical priest. Anything outside of that type of incense would be abominable to put on the altar and would warrant someone's death. So, but that's only dealing with in the temple, uh, T.M. Break down Revelation 14, which part? You, I mean, you gotta, you gotta get your guidebook from uh, you know, elders and, and, and Hebrew experts in, in the camps teaching. Of course. Of course, Pepper Money, we would love to have you. It's a lot. I'm getting lost. Yeah, we got brothers Florida, Boca Raton, and Orlando. Yeah, it's done. Check the channel. Man, the, 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 if you look at the ingredients that the Levites made incense within the temple, it wasn't no weed, it wasn't nothing that got you high, and the, and we didn't hotbox the temple. You tell you tell people a lot to if if as far as the carnal aspect of the temple, not the patterns and and what the temple means, but the carnal. Functionality of the temple that if they're not a Levite, they need to just go ahead and leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly, though, Manny. It will be required by other nations. They're going to have to do it. Okay, that's where I was at. Revelation 14 and 11. Yeah, this is just talking about the lake of fire. That's all it's talking about. The destruction that's coming to America. Blue crush block. No way to the Mandela effect, man. In Israel, they do a lot of stuff that's evil as hell. <laughs> Facts, I hate that. Yeah, paper money. You definitely can. You got to let that weed go. But I'm not in Seattle for the road, but we certainly have a camp there. There are uh, there are certain Cameroonians that are Israelites. Cameroonians in general are not Israelites. Yeah, Derek, that uh, Jephthah, Jephthah smashes the Mamzer doctrine, one thousand percent. No, there's no Kenny. If you ask about that damn Mandela effect, I said there's no 
wait to it. If you ask about it again, <laughs> I'm gonna get your ass out of here. Stop spamming that. Prospect involve studying for 12 weeks until you <clears throat> uh, uh, taking the courses until you become ranked. Man, I'm skipping to the bottom. I'm getting lost. It's a lot here, y'all. Mark of the Beast is the RFID chip. We don't got nobody in West Palm. We got people in Florida. And you can also always hit up the Light of Zion in Fort Lauderdale. Nah, that documentary ain't came out yet. But we got another one coming, too. Mandrakes, they're mandrakes. They're a, they're a plant. Isaiah 7, 20, 21. Y'all watching me? I was shot, broke a flyboy truck, the water. Hmm. Good question about Isaiah 7 and 20. I'm just going to take a look at the context. <clears throat> um, and it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of uh, Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, went up towards Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. So that's the, that is the context. Okay, 17, he gives a new context. He says, uh, Yahweh shall bring upon thee and upon thy people and upon thy father's house days that have not come from the from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even uh, the king of Assyria. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall hiss uh, for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. And they shall come and shall rest all of them in the desolate valleys and in the holes of the rocks and upon all thrones and upon all bushes. And the same day shall Yahweh shave with a razor that is hired, namely by them beyond the river, by the king of Assyria, the head of the hair of the feet, and it shall consume the beard. And it shall come to pass in that day that a man shall nourish a young cow and two sheep, and it shall come to pass for the abundance of milk that they shall give. He shall eat butter for butter and honey. Shall everyone eat that is left in the land. It's looking like the Lord is basically saying that he's going to deliver us. We're not going to lose against the Syrians, and eventually he's going to overthrow them and, and raise us up and bless us again. That's what it seems like, but I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. i got to study more in depth on this. Topic. <laughs> Queen, man, what, what is you talking about? <laughs> that message is quick. Abaddon, who is Kaiser Wilhelm? I'm not sure. I don't know all that. I know some. I know a little bit about the Masonic Lodge, but I don't know that. I'm sure a Mason would tell you no. Flyboy trucker in the Zakari. We have soldiers, officers of various ranks, and then a sergeant, lieutenant, captain, deacon, chief priest. That's the rank in file through the spirit. Uh, Melvin, yes.
All praise is a bio. I didn't know you was a sister. Yeah, I love the light of Zion. That's my home when I'm in South Florida. Um, Kahan, who's presiding elder, is, you know, my closest elder and confidant. You are good, Kenny. Um, it could be Tierra, but ideally, no. Tommy boy, it's so many differences. I guess hard. Uh, Mannyville, both, certainly both. <laughs> Anybody saying Obama is a bad is out of their mind. <laughs> Well, maybe he and I will talk about that. Um, I, but I believe we're talking about the identity of the Negro. I know why. That's not true. That's not true. I know the Canaanite woman, and the Canaanite woman is cropping. Cropping hard. Josh Judge, you know, I forgot about that. Matthew 8 and 29. Let me check. Matthew 8 and 29. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we done? What what have we to do with thee? Yahweh, thou son of the most high, art thou come hither to torment us before the time? I had a feeling that's what the verse you were asking about. Um, what we have to understand is that there are demons that job is to get on Israelites and make Israelites, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, go off and be wicked and bug out. Those demons will be unemployed in the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shai is going to destroy those demons. Um, and that's what that's in reference to. No need to break down Isaiah 4 and 1. It's self-explanatory. I mean, watch the videos where brothers debate them. I, I can't tell you the best way. They they have varied schools of thought. But bring up homosexuality and incest being upheld as customs in their mythos and in their history. What would a Kassab, the Most High will have mercy on who he will have mercy. So we can't for sure say who the Most High will have mercy on. Romans 11 and 26 of uh, Kenny Taylor. Uh, Jacobus, it's, it's, a, it's a tough thing. I, there's no one way to answer it. I mean, but you just have to. I mean, at the end of the day, the serpent beguiled Eve. So we have to kind of be in that same type of ideology. We have to almost beguile her with truth. <laughs> you know? Satan? No. No, I'm not familiar with Ronald Dalton. No, I have not thought about debating Divine Prospect. I mean, and Divine Prospect have a, a very good relationship. And if I want to have a discussion with him, I'll call him on the phone and we'll, we'll talk about it. Just like with pretty much a lot of people who, uh, I, you, if you don't see us debating, but we have a difference, nine times out of ten, I'll probably call him on the phone and deal with him on it. Yeah, read Spell 700. In the dead in the, in the book of the dead tell the egyptian that no you who are the, the afro-mexican are not judites they are also is correct oh uh i know what you're talking about um in search of yeah i think it's uh, 14 and 34. i know right what you're talking about let me read it <clears throat> Leviticus 14 and 34. For when you be coming to the land of Canaan, which I give you, give to you for possession, I put the plague of leprosy in a house. What do you mean? This ain't talking about the rest of the Canaanites. What do you mean? 
No, I'm certainly not an RBG Hebrew. Well, you meet Yahweh when you die. <laughs> You're going to meet him. You're going to meet your maker, right? That's what they say. There's a lot of different people in Mexico. A lot of people who haven't been to Mexico so they're not familiar with Mexico. Um, paper money. If if that's not working, bro, you can um just use the GoFundMe or the or the Cash App King. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with that. Was the division of a priest and a bishop? Um, I mean, clearly there's there's differentiation in the very word. Um, a priest can even reference different things, depending on what order or what priesthood one is a part of. No, Eve did not have her own seed. A woman cannot just have her own seed. A man got to plant that seed in her <coughs> for her to have offspring. I don't know definitively, man, crypto, who the tribes of Esau are today, but I know the Jewish man is Amalek. Well, all indigenous Mexicans are Israel, Yahuwah, Yahushua. And all Afro-Mexicans, I mean, I mean, and even saying that, technically all or nobody in Israel because there's it's a generalization. People are going to slip through the cracks. But there are all kind of people in Mexico. There's Asians in Mexico. They're called Chinos, right? But people don't know that. When we talk about Mexicans, we're talking about the people who identify linearly, historically as Mexicans, not people who are transplants to Mexico from Spain or China. Golden Davis, it wouldn't be wrong, but it would be highly unlikely that one would be able to pull that off. The mixed fabric law, if you read a tag and it says 60% cotton, 40% polyester, it's unlawful. Matthew 5 and 22. I need to order some food. I am starving. <laughs> Matthew 5 and 22. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And whosoever... Uh, say to his brother, Raka shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say thou fool shall be in danger of hellfire, man. So we can't just be um, writing our brother's office with Ka or his fool um, or be angry with our brother without a cause. Yahweh is teaching us to be more brotherly and love one another. No, I haven't been to Mitchell Con, but but I know about Mitchell Con. I know about why well, I know about these places. I know some of these guys, you know, they might not know, but I know Israelite wake up. I know you know I know. Anybody who says Job was an Edomite is an idiot. Yeah, uh Mashara Yasharala, we have books with, with the laws um like that, Melvin. Um but they're not always available. Um I could look into it kind of let people know about it. But there are resources with that. Yeah, there are Israelites in Asia. All praises lie in this accord. Yes, she was a young woman of marriageable age. Mary was 200 gifts. I don't have any current plans of coming to Ohio, Mac Money. What oppressors, Yahuwah, Yeshua? Second Ezra 13 and 11. So 
lot. And they were all mixed together to blast the fire of the flaming breath in the great tempest and fell with violence upon a multitude which was prepared to fight and burnt them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. Uh, uh, when I saw this I was afraid. Yeah, I believe this is talking about yeah destruction, end times, nuclear fire, etc. Yahuwah Yeshua, you can't make that declarative statement. Unlike Mexico does not differentiate people, uh, also it just includes everybody as, as Mexican. So we don't, you can't, again, it's too problematic. When you meet a Mexican, you ask him if his lineage is indigenous or Negro. If it's one of the two, then teach him the truth. He's an Israelite. I mean, that's just what you do, just like you would do with anybody. Yeah, and the Spaniard Mexicans take pride in being Spanish. I mean, they could. Each camp could create their own rank and file system, JMZ, pursuant to, you know, their own preference. You know what I mean? All praise you. How about Shemiah Shah Jonathan Parker? Yeah, even Adam had a seed, but somebody asked, Justin uh, Gray, somebody asked, does Eve have her own seed by herself? No, she, she only has seed with Adam. Spaniard bastards know they're Spaniard. No, Job is not even close to an Edomite. Yeah, Yanga. Talk about Yanga. Yanga is a, a person that a, a brother actually walked up to us on the street. It is a correct brother. Walked up to us on the street and actually educated us about Yanga. Then I went and I did the research. Yanga is a powerful brother. David Toman already passed, Doc. Sunday night to Monday night. Yeah, you still need to fast. I would recommend not waiting and doing it ASAP. Okay, skip me to the end. Ugh. Who were the troglodytes? What you telling them? Cave people? Them is inbred crackers. That's all that is. He's quoting the scripture where Yahweh says it in the Old Testament tactics. And Isaiah, I believe. No, Adam did not have a wife before Eve. Khan Shaquat Ben Loya. That's not true that the Aztecs were mostly wiped out. That's also a, a not true. You got to stop believing everything the white man tells you and just look at history. I ain't never fasted more than 24 hours. Sandy, that's hard to say because we're dealing with um, a post-exilic Israel, so different customs were were brought into. So there's not, I haven't seen a definitive answer for it. Yadai, what do you mean? That that already, fleeing into the mountains already happened. The rich man is talking about Esau and how we're gonna put hell on him in the kingdom, and Lazarus is talking about Israel. 
Uh, Shalom to the soldier, Imam wa Allah. The reason why they call the name of the Most High the Tetragrammaton Tetra is a reference to four. So it's referencing that it's four characters that makes up the name of the Most High. That's why they call it the Tetragrammaton. Y H W H or Yaha Waha or Yod Hey Wab Hey, as they say. Of course, not Mad Crypto. But Lord willing, maybe soon. I, I mean, Georgia, you know, Georgia is another place we're building Atlanta. No, Cain was not conceived by the serpent. That is impossible. It's impossible because when you look at the genealogical record of Cain in the Bible, it says his father was Adam. Uh, JMZ, I'm not saying that they're the same in each, any particular um, congregation can make that decision on their own. Like in most congregations, an officer is above a soldier. But in the United States military, an off a, a soldier is a, a, a an officer is a like an officer is below a sergeant. But in the military, an officer is above a sergeant. See what I'm saying? So it's you just make it up like you want to, whatever you feel like. There is Northern Kingdom that remain Negro. There's plenty of them. Because that was the angels in Yahweh that said, make man our image. We went over that yesterday. Check yesterday's class. Exactly so, yeah. Yeah, it came across correctly, paper money. The water, Yahabashim, Yahushap, Rakhita. All praises. Not even most Aztecs were wiped out. That's also a, 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 not even a half truth, an outright lie. I, and Judah didn't go there. Judah didn't go there. Those are Issacharites also. The remnant of Issachar that was in Africa. Afro Brazilians are not even Judites. Y'all got to study the slave trade more in depth so y'all can get an understanding on who the Afro of uh, or the slaves imported to a lot of these places were like. In the case of Brazil, you got Afro Brazilians that are Asherites and Levites. Judah was brought to America, all right? That's where Judah was brought to um, here amongst the white men. Um, people who were brought elsewhere, Negroes who were brought elsewhere were either Northern Kingdom that was cleaving to the south. Benjamin or Levi, not Judites. Some of the northern kingdom was in West Africa. You had a portion, which we read earlier, that had claimed to the south, came to the south, right? No, Judah was not brought to Mexico. Those were slaves from the Songhai Empire that were brought to Mexico who were remnants of the Israelites or the Iskarites that had sojourned with Judah and got exiled out of Israel into Africa. I've done videos on that Sunday, Jean Baptiste. This is a Hebrew Israelite custom. All right. You study Hebrew culture, turbans, uh, and things of that nature were what the Israelites wore. Because they stayed with the South and mingled with the South and Hamedic people, so that's why. Of course, and some Issacharites that were indigenous were put on ships and sent in slavery as well. <clears throat> Who is your father, Amalek killer? Nothing wrong with having gold teeth. Um, There could have been, Kenny. I'm sure there is certainly a remnant, a couple. Uh, certainly. Uh, more than likely, Aria. No, they most of them were not wiped out. You have to see. <coughs> Esau will say that they killed two million Aztecs, and there were only three million. But then there is a plethora of other sources that say the Aztec Empire was at eight million. 
Or they kill two, that still would leave six million. Then you have 100, 200,000 uh, slaves that was important. So that's it's 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 BS. I I'm not sure, GMG. No, oh, Esau started a renaissance. <coughs> Facts, Tank. Uh, GW, Amos 1 is not about Esau breaking the brotherly covenant. It's about Tyre and Zidon breaking the brotherly covenant. Hamitic people. No, they weren't mostly wiped out. You, there's The, the only people who we can see as mostly wiped out are the indigenous peoples of like the Bahamas, and Jamaica, but not not of a <coughs> not of the Dominican Republic. Yeah, Golden Davis, I've heard that. Exactly, man. All praise you, Abba, Shemi, Brandon, Alexander. No, it's not against the most high laws to have a gun. Yes, the Nahuto tribes will be a part of this accord. No, RL. I would certainly not advise adding sin, <coughs> adding sin to sin. I think Esau being the Arab is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my life. And we've debated on that several times. You can check it on the channel through the spirit. Yeah, but I'm about to close out. I'm starving. I would love to rock with y'all a little longer, but I'll keep it 100 with you. I'm starving like a mug. Um, oh, with depression, don't take medi medication. Pray to the most high. Um, there's no such thing as cheating if you're a man. No such thing. Yeah, I've I've heard it was about three hundred thousand. Um, but with that, again, Ruth is a Moabite. Um, I'm gonna give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, I hope y'all was edified. Appreciate y'all. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Barak a thumb the water for the donations, etc. Hope y'all was edified. I'm gonna get something to eat. Shalom.